What's going on, people? Troops TV. Back again. Back our blood clock again, you understand? Episode 274 of Back Again. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to the blood clock thing. You know what I'm saying? Big up the man, them. As always, you get me. We... We don't even have uh, a newcomer uh, today. Uh, we don't even have a substitute uh, today. We have an original member of the Back Again podcast joining us this episode. You get me? The one and only man knows football, a.k.a. Goonie. You know what I'm saying? My brother, all the way out in Uptown. You get me? Living life. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? Little win today and them thing there. Subscribe to the Broski link in the description as all. But Gooney, it's good to see you, blood. You get me back on the channel. You understand? You come with a little win as well, blood. You get me? You had one foot in the air fryer, but you pulled yourself out, blood. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> but we listen, listen. First and foremost, it's good to be back. As you know, one of the originals on 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 back again. So it feels great to be back. However, the last time I was here. It was clean sheets onto the next, Champions Leagues onto the next, top fours onto the next. Yeah, now look where we are. Look where we are, and I'm keeping the same energy. Four two today. Okay, cool, we won, but the performance, especially second half, not good enough for me. Not good enough for me. These owners need to leave. Pochettino needs to leave, and so do eighty five percent of this squad. I'm not having it. I'm absolutely not having it, bro. 10-man Leicester, we were supposed to beat them. 100% we were supposed to beat them. But these men, nowhere near good enough. I've never, ever disliked a squad in my life as much as I dislike this one. And I know it's going to upset Chelsea fans, but I don't care. I don't care. I've gone past the point of caring. I don't care. These men are not good enough. Yeah, I'm getting people on my Twitter saying, you see Nicholas Jackson, he's improving. I don't care, bro. I haven't seen enough. I haven't seen enough. Are you seeing Mujik? Are you seeing these guys? No, I haven't seen enough. I've, I've not seen enough. This squad needs an overhaul. This manager needs to go. These owners need to go. And so do the recruiters. They all need to go. Sorry. But yeah, man, we're on to the semi semi-finals. Big up yourself, Flawless. Big up yourself, Hussam. Bro, I Big saw you watching long. Obviously, we're going to get on to that. But yeah, <laughs> it's, it, 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 is you, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Flawless. Now, I know that the rules are you get a big win, you go top row. But you yeah. always like to be there, blood. You get me? The chat are yeah. calling for you to be on the top row. So before I intro your blood, Clark, do you want to go top row? Yeah, if the chat are calling for it, well, yes. If we listen to the chat. That's fine by me. If the chat are saying so, I appreciate the chat. Big up, man. Big up to Goonie as well. Like you mentioned there, one of the originators of, of this thing. You know what I'm saying? One of the originals. So salute to Goonie every single time. Big up to the chat. Of course, yourself, Troops, and Hassam as well. Now, flawless, an, an unexpected win. You get me, man. Are shaking yeah. their head. You get me. Um, that come out of nowhere, blood. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> yeah, it did. Obviously, Liverpool were the favourites going into the game, and we'll discuss it further in the actual section as well. But Liverpool did have an off day in front of goal, and all I ask for from the team, forget quality, is effort. That's it. You know what I'm saying, and I don't know if you might have seen the clip, but Klopp when he responded to there was a pres, pres um interviewer asking him after the game, yo, this guy said, dick, yo, this guy said, this guy, <laughs> 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 I don't know, 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 <laughs> oh shit! Oh, That's the is, man. Yeah, oh. yeah, you, yeah, you finished laughing yet, troops? Yeah, you done? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm done. All right, sure. All right, cool. But yeah, that's what I was saying anyway. Where was I at? I forgot what I was even talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be polite. Who's like, just know this year. I'm trying to be polite. <laughs> yeah, these men are instigating. <laughs> it's nice, it's nice, troops. I'm trying to chat. Man, just <laughs> 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 
Oh my god, yo, this yo, Troops is just to clarify, Troops is the worst of this pod people for that. Just to clarify, he'd be instigating a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that goes on. I'm crying tears, yo, Jesus. (laughs) Oh, this is gonna be epic, but yeah, speaking of speaking of club, the interviewer asked him about too many games, and he said to the interviewer, I'm paraphrasing, he said, Look at you, you're out of shape. How can you tell me about this? Yeah, 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 I just seen the clip. Yeah, yeah, I sent it to you on Twitter. That's what I'm he said. I'm paraphrasing. You. Yeah, he said, look at you, you out of shape. Yeah, yeah. Klopp was because the interviewer asked him about too many games. Oh, the chat will know what I'm talking about. I sent it through to you on Twitter. I've just seen it as you click go live on here, but we put in the effort. You know, like I saw like, as for him and his endeavor. And yeah, we're going to give away chances and we're going to do stupid things because we're just not of quality. However, the one thing I won't forgive is just lack of will. A lack of running around and word to my guy Eddie being tryhards, and that's what we did today. And we got the win. Can't believe there were seven goals, though. I can't believe we scored four, but we'll talk about it in the actual section. You saw him. I wanted you to win, blood. You can go to the watch along, the evidence is there. I, I predicted the Liverpool win, yeah, but did. the thing went left, bro. The quadruple is no longer possible. Ray Ray, where is that pussy? Yeah, where, where's the four and where to Hassam? Where's the 499 super chat now? Where's your yeah. 499? I heard Hassam say that on his pussy old. Where, where is it, man? Where, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> where is it? He hide it now. You ain't gonna see him. You ain't gonna see him. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're all gone now. First of all, big up, yes. congratulations to Flawless. You did what Arsenal couldn't do, which is knock Liverpool out the FA Cup. So congratulations. And uh, yeah, we're here to post the defeat. Dead side we, shots. We blood. Don't, That's why you're don't... bottom row, blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah? Don't I'm not bottom row, blood. Yeah, don't, don't, don't send me away. It's not, it's not yeah? how easy yeah? it is to rattle. This guy's firing shots in the air because I'm rattle. here, blood. Yeah. yeah? We're shooting yeah, out the air, blood. Yeah? 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 I've Don't already won a trophy this season. Um, you knock me out for what, Blood? Get on the floor. Two more games. Get on the floor. <laughs> by, by, by who? Ten spliffs. Are Please. you done? Are you done? Yeah, go on. <laughs> All of this will get clipped up when you go away to Old Trafford in the Premier League, if you lose. <sighs> Vel is ready. You know, Vel is the biggest prick on YouTube. He's ready with all the clips. So that's all I'm saying. But yeah, we out here. We don't hide anyway. And uh, we'll get into it when we get to the section. I already see, as per usual, troops, you're welcome. Whenever Liverpool lose or get a draw, the super chats are flying in. He gets me so. Yeah. <laughs> you are you are the ultimate hey, well, pantomime villain. Can't forget, you know, public you enemy number ult- one. You know? Yes, but yes, hey, you are the ultimate pantomime me. villain. Like in wrestling, yeah, like you the, the heel, you just the... hell. Like, you can't even <laughs> he can't even get his promo out because man no, just getting booed. They're <laughs> just getting booed. You like, yeah. you're welcome, like, like, you're welcome. Like, read, read the super chats, in Read the super chats so we can talk about the game. Read the super chats, troops. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Randy Viper, my dog. He says, "Flawless, you're the embed- you're the embodiment of what a man should be." Pause. Hey, salute to you, Randy, man. Appreciate that. I would say that's the, that's a superb compliment. Big up to you, man. Let me use that. Man said an embodiment of what a man should. Hey, big up, man. You know what I'm saying? You're gassing this dickhead. He's back <laughs> again. He says, "Everyone acknowledge the final boss, Flawless." Big up, Randy, man. Real one. He really don't know you, blood. <laughs> he knows me. Big up man like Shaq. He says, still watch Goonies channel. Love to see him back. Come on, you gunners. Come on, blood. Hey, original. You hear me? Randy back again. I see it there. Ray Ray. Your quadruple chasing reds are done, boy. What you saying now, you wallard? Hold that. Never disrespect <laughs> our saviour flawless. Again, <laughs> you pussy old fake. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Randy Duncan or Ryan, I love that. Big hey, Duncan. Yeah, MJ Starblood. Big up Andrew. He says, your boy Sterling is finished like your spliff. Out. I think he's yeah, having he was... a tough time right now. I'm not yeah, going to lie. He was lie like to me. He needs to go back to flipping Westmoreland or wherever he's from, blood. Get him out of Chelsea, fam. Marvel. Don't want him club. Marvel, wherever he's from, get him out, bruv. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. But he's not the only one. But yeah, man. <laughs> big up Jack. He says, big up guys. Flawless. Time to cook Hussam. Lol. 
Yo, Sam was on point with what he said. Like, as much as I would love to, like, you lot owe him, we'll get into it in a segment, but you lot owe him apologies. <laughs> the way you mad went at him last week and prior to that. And this is me saying this thoroughly. He called this not in regards to the result, but like the game wouldn't be easy and Liverpool need to be on it. Uh, so, yeah. Big up Sahil every damn time. He says, troops bringing back the bar stool vibes. Good to see Goonie after so long. And big up the panel. Hussam, tough one to take, but we got to hold that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Big up Jack. He says, pack of smokes on the way, Hussam. On deck, <laughs> on deck, root boy. What do you mean? On on root, on deck, blood. <laughs> yeah, you get it there. right, my brother. Right, you know what I'm on deck, blood. Big up Todd Miller, my doggy. He says, a limerick for the liver birds fan. There once was a lad named Hussam, a Liverpool fan with much oblam. Ablam, ab aplom. Ablom? I have no idea what that means, bro. Yeah, he's, know, he's, gone, he's gone full on Shakespeare he's here. Gone, this yeah. is Shakespeare. <laughs> this, is where, this is where I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is yeah. full on Shakespeare. This. He's gone. Then he way. says, but when United triumphed, his, cover, his courage did wane. He crumbled under the pressure, his spirit in pain. Here's the limerick for you, Todd. Uh, your 1.5 billion pound project played my kids in a, in a final and you lost. So hold that. Limerick. Big up Jack one more time. He says, big up you guys from mid-USA. Storm is going to say, oh, well, that's two less games we have to play. Lol. Can't wait. Big up AD. He says, United had more XG in normal time and double Liverpool's XG in extra time. Two deflected goals is the only reason Liverpool left with dignity. Ross. We got Kosovo Baller, my doggy. He Kosovo says, Baller. big impact from Carney and Noni. Up the Chels. Flawless. Congrats on the W. Hussam, it was poor management today. Everyone subscribe to Troops to 300k. Blood. Yeah, man, let's get Troops blood. to 300k. 100%. We need to do Last that. time I checked, we was like 750 away. From 300k blood. So oh, we gonna get that no time. Blood. Big, big, up. big up everybody, blood. Big up Lee Burnell, my dog. <clears throat> he says, big up troops and the man them. Hope the chicken, nice. Yo, the chicken was 10 10 doggy. Trust me, daddy. Big up salmon, but we don't like salmon. You get me? He says, big up you lot from Ireland. Usam can hold that while lad. Now Chelsea won't have Liverpool in any cup for the rest. Of the season. Big Go on, win Burnell. it now. Go on, win it now. He says, Hussam, Assalamu alaikum, Habibi. Hold that, you wild lad. Big up, see? Play, man. Big up, play. He showed respect, but then he had to clock you off, blood. I love that. <laughs> Big up, man, like C. He says, fidget spinner dunking on pool. Very lovely. Facts, man. All that spinner talk and he span and stuck it bottom bins. <laughs> hey, the football in the universe don't miss. All don't that miss spinner that. talk, yo. All it, that spinner talk of Anthony. And all miss. justified. Don't get it mistaken, people. Right. And then he spins right. and equalizes. Just to clarify. On his right foot. Not Just even to clarify. Left. All that criticism, one footed this, this and that. And the spinning and fidget spinner, which is all valid. And then he does that. Hey, man. Football. Like, like this comment said, football's a humbler. Big up Henri, football is a humbler. Good to see you, Goonie. Come on, you gunners. Big up Comedy Star TV. He says, man like Goonie, back again. It's been a minute. Come on, G. Only real ones on back again, Troops TV, you know what I'm saying? Big up Gaming for Life. He says, Troops, what do you think of the FA Cup semi-final? I think United's in the final, unfortunately, and it will probably be City, but Oi. so... And United yeah, yeah. Chelsea, final. Chelsea, let's see if let's see if Man United can last longer than forty seconds. Pause. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax with all that. First, of all, I think I we, like, like, yeah. tickets, you know? we gotta get past I coverage. Chelsea number are one. that pick up, remember? And, on and, num and, and number two, Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea can do certain against City. We've seen that in the, in the two games they've played. They can do some. Hundred percent. They ain't beat us yet, but that's what I'm saying. You lot can. Do, I'm not. You lot can def. That's not a foregone conclusion. Either time. Yes. 
I Should agree. United get past Coventry? Yes, but we are still under the regime of Ten Hag and these players can definitely chuck it in in the semi-final. 100%. All the pressure's on us. All of it. Coventry go there with no pressure whatsoever in that semi-final. Should we win? Yes. Do I predicting us to win? Absolutely. But if we don't get through, Ten Hag should be sacked in the tunnel. But hey, that's a whole different conversation. Big up my brother Sheik every time. Make sure you subscribe to Sheep Blood. I checked in on his um, match reaction earlier. Yeah, he didn't Sheik. know how to act, Blood. You understand? He's, <laughs> he's just sitting there looking confused, Blood. He's like, he's like, yeah, um, the Raiders. Um, yeah, um, he didn't know what to do. Because like, like, he was bad confused, Blood. He was because he was. We was both befuddled because he was on the watch along on my channel. It's like, how do you react to this? Can't believe mm. we scored four goals. It's a mazel. You know, yeah, yeah. Like, Anthony right foot strike, crazy. Oh. It's a mazza. Spin and a writer. Boy, boy, boy. So, be ready, blood. <laughs> he says, Liverpool quad. What? Fuck off. Shout out to Troops, Flawless, Goonie and Hussam. Hussam, I ain't even going to troll you because you've been real. But the rest, hold that. Big up Abdu. He says, Ramadan, Madar Ramadan Mubarak, Hussam. But you're still a wild lad. Out of context, they are. <laughs> <laughs> <That's the word. laughs> Shout out of context. context. I like, don't even put bottles, blood. Put, put, put relax, blood. He'll finish him. Man heard he was muting people for saying, hold that. <laughs> <laughs> he lost it, blood. <laughs> All right. All right, yo, cracking up in the chat today, blood. Turn up. Big up, Ben Highsmith. He says, big up troops at Goody. Been waiting on this for a while. Welcome back again. Come on, GG. Big up LJ Brown. He says, stars are aligning for United in the FA Cup flawless. Hey, hey LJ, I know we all gassed in that. Static to beat Liverpool. Relax on the, the, the stars are aligning for us. You know what I'm saying? And that We leave that to Arsenal and troops. You know what I'm saying? And Champions League draws and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Big up Jason. He says a chance of four trophies ending by conceding four at Old Trafford. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Jason. That's great. I'll give you that. That's All right, that's great. cold, blood. That's great. That's right. great. <laughs> Big up Sully. Oh, he says Man United okay. win. Flawless victory. Let's go, Sully. Shout out more combat, blood. You understand? Big up Weku. He says Kobe May knows a baller. I'm not. Oh yeah, absolutely. That blood. The is, way he yeah. was moving, like he batted up McAllister. We're gonna talk on that. He's you cold, man. Man in the midfield with McTominay and Bruno. Anything he does should be uh, uh, overdone in terms of in terms of praise. Mm -hmm. You out there with Bruno and McTominay? You out there by yourself, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Big up C Yak. He says contributing to the L Hussam fund. <laughs> Chelsea into the semis despite being overrun with terrorist potch at the will. What Facts. a finish from scumbag United. Hey, hey, hold on. Can I give a very, very special shout out to Ahmad? Because he done the coldest thing I've seen in football for a long time. Yeah, got sent off the winner. And went home, blood. He went straight down the tunnel. He said, "Listen, bro." <laughs> <laughs> that said, I'm out. You're in I trouble. Jump. You know that. Man said, "I'm out." Yeah, you're out. <clears throat> like Liverpool. Big up S. He says, "Hussam, trust in Klopp should have stuck to camels." What a wild job. Big up NK Stacks. He says, "Hussam, hold that, you fraud. You look like Klopp." That one spun me earlier, blood, because man was saying the glasses, and then I looked at you, and you were bare, and you were just there, like, and I was like, oh shit, that it spun me, blood, because you got the fresh trim as well. It's a wrap. You get me. Uh, big up Kevin. He says Liverpool mudded by ten dead batteries. Big up Goonie, the OG. Love to see the whole panel. Come big on, you, you gunners. Come on, my brother. Big up Hamad. He says, good to see Goonie. Flawless about to make this the most toxic podcast in history. Never that, man. I'm about spreading positivity and good vibes. Yeah. Big up Yassir. <laughs> so glad that, that we ain't just skipping by that. What do you mean by yeah? You be taking these shots at me all the time, you know, for just unnecessary and just, just totally uncalled for. What do you mean, yeah? I'm here yeah. to spread good vibes and joy yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. laugh and jokes. That's what I'm mm -hmm. here for. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. entertain the people them. Yeah. Big up Yasser. He says, Lewis created a new stat for Hussam, X6. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis is a dick, X6. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. <laughs> Expert in six is brilliant. Why are you finished? Oh, my day. Oh, you're finished, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, you're finished, bro. LJ Brown, oh. <laughs> he says, flawless. You're still a snow bunny scheming individual. <laughs> why am I a snow bunny scheming individual? You why fucking am I? are, blood. Why, why am I? You know what I'm saying? Why am I? <laughs> oh, you, want, you know what? Never, nah, nah, nah. It's false names, man. False allegations. Nah, everyone knows, blood. <laughs> everyone allegations. Knows. Hella allegations. Big up South underscore poor. He says, big up my guy troops. This break is going to be boring for us. Real talk. Flawless. Cook this walad today. Um, cook this walad. Today is your day. And Hussam, your camel rider, your attack fails you. Fails yeah, you, big, family. Move up to Southpaw. We we going to get to the United Liverpool section. You don't know yeah, what it is. I'm trying, blood. Big up Cam Cam, day one family in the building. Big up he Cam says, Cam. clop in five more years. Hussam, no reply. Okay. Uh, big up Irish Taz. He says, most embarrassing thing is Anthony scored. That is Big up the panel. With his right and, foot as well. And his right foot. And, and he did a spun. spin. Yeah, yeah. Spin. Don't forget the spin, blood. Yeah. He spun. Yeah. Spin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of that spinning oh, like a Beyblade criticism. Bit, yeah, man. Karma really did spin around. Oh, beautiful mm -hmm. sentence. Kylie Minogue Be says, blood. <laughs> Big up Kind FC. He says, forget the Kool-Aid. Tonight, I'm drinking the rum punch. Enjoy, kind FC. Enjoy. Big up Todd Miller, accountant Hussam. I'm here <coughs> for the tears. I think everyone is, blood. I'm not going to lie. You lot were waiting for this. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> they were waiting for this. In the chat, in, in the watch along, they were saying Hussam's tears will be better than Flawless. We get it like every, we get it like once every two weeks. I said, that's a point, but we need Hussam to have more games. But then they were like, nah, but troops, think of And I was like, you know what? It would be better if Liverpool hey, lost. But I want Liverpool to win. You get me? Shout but big up chat. Fats. Day big one. Up, he My says, go on, Goonie. Sing it. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Whatever will be, will be. We're going to Wembley. Another Wembley day out. Yeah, enjoy facts. I know you'll be there. And just knock out City. You must. Mm. Comedy Star TV back again. He says, Ramadan Babarak to all. Uh, uh, to you all. And good to see Goonie back again. I want you to cook Hussam. And like the Ting guys, inshallah, we win the league. Come on, you gunners. We, uh, I echo that comedy star. You get me? <clears throat> I definitely echo that. Big up Captain Sal. He says, Hussam, been calling it all season and he's been right. Now, maybe the deluded Liverpool fans will listen to him then than back the lads' brigade. Hussam has a lot to say, blood. I'm just trying to get through this ASAP. Big up Jashan or Jashan. He says, relax, camel pack. Relax, camel rider. Pause. Big up Jack. He says, Darwin's performance today. We're going to talk. Love United, hate the Ops. Real one. He says, hold that Hussam. In the words of my bro, Saeed, you lot didn't do it for Klopp. <laughs> didn't and you for Klopp. also like let Anthony score. <laughs> That's hilarious. Talk on my boy, Kobe, by the way. Flawless. We did it. Yo, we did it, man. That was our, <clears throat> our season pretty much. On, well, that was our season on the line. So, yeah, we did it. Through to the semi-final, Coventry. Oh. Hopefully, FA Cup final. Big up Twinny. He says, you let season one Franklin Saint boss the midfield. Hey, don't disrespect my guy, man. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> you had season one. <laughs> you had an Egypt, yo. You had an Egypt. Big up Bob Mark. He says, on the bright side, seven hog, keep his job. Big up Hussam. Yeah, 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 Bob. Well, yeah, what a quad for, for Jürgen. Big up Fernando. He says, big up the pod. Good to see Goonie back again. Uh, with that being said, when is the pod coming back 
to streaming on Spotify. You know what? I'm gonna. Flawless I told you. Knows how to, yeah, flawless knows how to do it, so I'm gonna start. Yeah. We're yeah, man. Hundred percent. Just set up a new one and just run that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy Definitely. to do. We'll be. Uh, we'll get it on all streaming platforms. It's actually to you lot in the chat. If there's anywhere outside of like Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, you lot want the pod put, let us know and we'll pattern it again. <laughs> so, but those are the three major ones. Mm-hmm. Big up SMG. He says Ahmad. Scored the winner and left to break his fast. Alhamdulillah. Breaking hearts and breaking the fast. Love that. Let's go, our mad man. Mad. Big up Adam. He says, cheer up, Hussam. You can fully focus on Europa now. <laughs> Real talk, blood. Now you don't now you won't have to worry about Yemi you know, Salah playing every Thursday night. Big up Will. He says, gutted Arsenal aren't in the FA Cup. Large up, man, them. No, that's a better I'm, competition without him. We'll be all right. We're in the Champions League, bro. We're yeah, good, there you bro. go. It's, yeah, yeah, facts, facts. Like, like you said, we're, man. We're the draw, the stars League, are yeah. aligned as well. City and Madrid caught uh, drawing <laughs> each other. Yeah, man, 100%. Mm. Big up my dog, Ed. He says, Hussam, we played shit up front. We didn't finish our dinner enough, but it's a blessing in disguise. We can focus on the league now. These men should be worried. Yeah, because you lot playing Coventry in the semi-final would have been so detrimental to your league form. Big up Pabs. He says, big up best panel on YouTube. Hussam been getting it right about LFC for time now. Time for the Positivity Brigade to hold it. Hussam's, Hussam's in the kitchen right now, blood. Don't worry. He's yeah. just, he's he's at the stove. You understand? <clears throat> big up C. He says, Klopp lost his head in the interview after. I guess the players couldn't do it for Klopp after all. Thank you. Mad. Big up Matt. Big up Mattias. He says, I feel kind of bad for Hussam, man. Every time some deluded members of his fan base run their mouths about a quad, it's Hussam who gets flamed. Yeah, we both. The thing is, we don't yeah, flame I get flamed when, man, when, when, when a gal chat shit, blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, so, the, but well, well gal, call though. it though. Yeah, big up to a gal, but we'll say a gal said this. We won't be like troops said it, but we'll still talk about it because it's yeah. a talking point. Because yeah, some yeah. people run. There, you know, there you see why me and Egal are not similar, flawless. Not you sell whole. No, just you have to take you... that one back because now no. today it's proven that me and him are not of the same category. I, but I, the thing is, but you took it. We get into it. It's not a shot when I said that, but you took it as a shot. It's not a shot. It's not a shot. Shout out to Gal, but yeah, yeah shout out to a Gal. But like I say, man, if you're selling hope out here, you will forever have customers. That's all it is. You can sell That's hope true. for life. Love United, hate the ops. Back again. He says, run it back on the fourth of April. Who saw him? See you then. <clears throat> oh yeah, you yeah, are playing the league. Yeah, yeah, they turning up with a vengeance for that one. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, they, they on a mission 100%. for that one. Yeah, you getting slapped in that one. <laughs> they on a mission for that one. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. That's what happened. <clears throat> Big up C Yak. He says, Can we have applause for that X6 stat? Because my brother Hussam about to go over the stats in a minute. <laughs> X6 is brilliant, yo. Lewis is a dick, you know. <laughs> He's a prick, isn't it, blood? Oh my days. Only Lewis will come up with some shit like that, you know. Big up Salmon one more time. He says, just like Klopp, Hussam has run out of energy and has taken. Lewis's place. Oy. Oy. <laughs> Big up paranoid android. That's mad. He says we didn't really turn up. Freaking un- freaking United were pressing more. We will be back, Hussam. This should be a good lesson for remaining games. And then finally, last but not least, big up Jack. Hussam slash Liverpool today. And uh, hella emojis just there, blood. Oh, one more. Sing is king, my brother. Day one in the in in the cart couldn't leave that one. He says, "Big up troops and the man them." I was not expecting that, but I'll take it. God helped out, and Ten Hag still got to go. Big up Goonie, flawless, and Hussam. Big up to you, Sing is king. <clears throat> yeah, don't get mistaken. Yeah, like Your Ten Hag still has to go. Ten Hag still has to go, without doubt. Okay, Hussam. Yes, troops. The floor Can I, is let yours. me let me just speak. Don't even intro anything. Let me mm-hmm. just speak. First mm-hmm. of all, there is 50 super chats sent today. Mashallah. May Allah Jeez. bless this channel with even more super chats. Where's Rare's super chat? Where's the 499 from that massive twat on Friday? 
who Talk sent about- three super chats of the same exact stuff, just calling me out. My problem is, you know, let me just say this. Me and Flawless have been working together for the last two years. We've been cooking each other, rattling each other, annoying each other. His first message to me was not hold that, was not I'm going to cook you. His first message was your old apologies. Because yeah. people now on YouTube, whenever your team's doing well, all they want is happy clapping. That's all they want. We're going to win every single game. <laughs> We're going to go 10 from 10. We're going to win the league. We're going to win the quadruple. Last season, when Flawless came to Anfield, he said something after the game, which is true. It was our cup final because there was nothing left to play for. I tried to explain to the people that this is a similar scenario. This is Man United's cup final. Because if they lost today, essentially it would have been season over. So this is why the players done extra today and gave it their all and fought their all and all this. Me, I personally, I'm, I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to say I don't deserve this cooking. It's not me who deserves this cooking. Ray Ray should be, if Ray Ray was here, I'd cook him even worse than any of you would. If any of those delusional Liverpool happy clappers were here, I'd cook him worse than any of, of you would. Happy clappers. <laughs> yeah, he's happy he's like a seals, seal. Man. Seals. Like a seal, I swear. What does a seal do anytime you see it? You know, and they're like, what do they call it? Like, that's all a seal does. That's all they want. It's happy clapping. That's all they want. They want to just sit up here and we're going to win everything. <coughs> When I, when I speak about the league, this is related to the league. When I speak about the league and I say Liverpool are underdogs, I'm not playing the underdog. I'm not doing this on purpose so I don't get clipped. A guy who shaves his head bald because of a bet in front of 2,000 people is not afraid of getting clipped. I'm not the guy that's afraid of getting clipped. I have too many strong opinions on this platform to be afraid of getting clipped. When I talk about my football club, I'm always, I've always been realistic. You guys ask me in the January window, what should we sign? I said a forward and a center back. The same way I can hold my hands up and say, Kwanzaa, fair enough, he's been unbelievable. I can also now expect the people who said we don't need a forward to go like, okay, you were right. Because I said Jota's made from Weetabix, he's going to get injured and we're going to feel it. And now you can see it with, with, with Diaz, with Gakpo, with Nunez. It's just, it's just all of these players, bro. It's just, no, they're just not good enough. This is the reality and they've cost us again. And this takes me back to the City game. When I came here... And on my channel, after the City match, and I said, guys, this was a must-win game for Liverpool, word for word. There's a reason why I said it's must-win game for Liverpool, it's because you give yourself margin for error. Today's game is a humbler. And today's game is a proof of everything I've been saying from the start of the season up until this moment. Liverpool Football Club cannot win every single game from the end of the season. The only way Liverpool win the league is if Arsenal and City drop points. It ain't about us. It's not about us. It's not about believing because today the same thing. You're like, oh, Sam, you never believed in the first place. You just never had belief in this team. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think this team is capable of winning a quadruple. I'm sorry. I don't think that, you know, excuse me, uh, you know, for, for saying that crazy stat. In the Europa League, in a dead rubber game, we joked about it on Thursday, but I wasn't joking because I was mad. Mo Salah played 90 minutes. We were 11-2 up on aggregate. Virgil van Dijk came on in the last half an hour. We were 11-2 up on aggregate. Luis Diaz played in that game. Nunez played in that game. Mac played in that game. Endo played in that game. They just played 120 minutes today. Today, Manchester United 100% deserved the win. Yeah, you because look mad tired. About... I can't lie. Yes, to... I see, but but you see what, what I'm saying, troops. You were mad tired. What's the date? 17th of March. We're mad tired now. So what are we going to say in April and May when it comes mm-hmm. to mad tired? What am I going to say a month from now, two months from now? That's why when I I haven't been playing the underdog for Liverpool, I fully believe we're the underdog because I just don't think we're good enough to win the league. And today's game is proof of it. What is stopping us from going to Old Trafford, missing 50 chances and losing or drawing the game? What is stopping this from happening away at Goodison? What is stopping this from happening? At, what is stopping this from happening away at Villa? Nothing. Every single one of those players can again miss chances and we and they can again cost us, just like they cost us against City, just like they cost us against Luton, just like they cost us against Brighton, just like they cost us in all these games. And the reality is today, Manchester United, forget XG, just using the eye test, Man United's uh, chances were more dangerous because they were on the counter-attack and they deserve to win today's game. They deserve to win today's game. We allowed McTominay, Anthony, who are two memes, to score goals today. Diallo, <laughs> who, two memes, two memes. Diallo, who Flawless's fan base has been asking, why isn't he even played? The question isn't even wh- where is his goal or anything. They've been saying, can we give Diallo a chance? That's that's what they've been saying. He's mm-hmm. the guy that scored against us today. Man United 100% deserved the victory. Man United 100% deserved the, the win today. And this is the reality of where we're at. Now, shout out to Draymond Green on his podcast. He says his, his college coach 
told them something, always listen to what I say, not how I say it. Forget how I say stuff. It's what I say that you just listen to me and listen to my logic. I done the back again podcast. I said, I'm worried about this game. All the comments came for me. Pause. I done the same thing on straight facts. I done the same thing on previews on other channels, on my own channel. I said, yo, I'm worried. This is not an easy game because flawless in his whole lifetime has had much better teams than this Liverpool team come to Anfield to much worse teams than this Man United team. And we still beat them and still gave them a game mm. in derbies. It's the same thing as troops going like before the Northland derby. I'm worried a little bit. It's a derby. It's not that deep. The problem is people always want us to just sit up here and just be positive and toxically positive the whole time. Today is a humbler, but it's not for me. Because I knew that this will happen. I've spoken about this from the start of the season. But today it's a humbler for all the happy clappers. Because Ray Ray is nowhere to be found. All He's the people missing. who called me up on the Friday <laughs> he show. He said the shots at Ray Ray, man. Hey, you know, you know what's crazy? He's trying to cut you off first time. He but... sends super chats before you even click start stream. Before yes. you even come to Facts. stream, you have to click start yeah, yeah, yeah. stream. It's There's fact. a 4.99 yeah. about how it's great fact. Liverpool are. It's 4.99 fact. directly. Where is it today? Nowhere to be found. Why? Because Basically. I am proven right. I don't want to be proven right. But the reality is, this is a proof on the big level of why we can't win the league this season. And I will repeat this again. The only way we can win the league is if Arsenal and City drop points. It's not in our hands because this is going to happen again. We are not going to go 10 from 10 till the end of the season. We aren't. We are not going to go 10 from 10 because this is possible of happening again where we miss chances. And that's exactly why I wanted us to beat City. That's why it was must win for me. We were at home and we should have taken our chances. That's why even Flawless gave me credit last week. He's like, I didn't call out the referees. It's not about McAllister getting sweet chin music. It's about us missing the chances. <laughs> so for me, so, so for me, we deserve to miss today's game. On fire. That's a Congratulations sweet to Flawless. Congratulations to all the Man United fans. 100% deserved victory today. And every single... Liverpool player needs to hang his head in shame because this is the absolute most disgusting West performance we've had all year long. And if I'm Jurgen Klopp, I'm putting all these fucking useless attackers in counter-attacking practice from now for the next two weeks in this international break where I'm teaching them how to counter-attack. Cody Gakpo, how is he a Premier League footballer? How is that guy a Premier League forward? Wallahi, I'm better than him. I'm more clinical than Cody Gakpo. Damn. That guy has no balls whatsoever. Biggest cool. coward in my team. Luis Diaz, when you go to Colombia on international break, stay there. Stay there. I'll rather play a kid. Don't come back. He's so fucking shit. These two are just dumb and dumber. Worse than each other. And then Darwin Nunes, the moment you give him credit, the moment you say Darwin Nunes, you're doing well, he goes and he passes it to the United player because he's fucking brain dead. We need yeah, Jota back. And, and yeah, yeah. Salah's the only guy. Today, Salah didn't have a good game. No problem. Yeah. Before they start accusing me, Salah's sexual, blah, blah, blah. Salah didn't have a good game. I can say this. But at least he got a chance and he fucking scored it. And he fucking scored it. Because that's what you need from your forward. Take your opportunities. And Diaz and Gakpo played like pussies today. And Darwin Nunes is brain dead. And he proved it again today. And this is why these forwards need to stop letting us down. And I can't wait for Diego Jota to come back. So... For me, one thing I'll say, though, Troops is shameless about the McAllister thing. He was our best midfielder today. He was our best midfielder, but we fell into the United He was your trap. best, but he was poor today. Good goal, though. He, good goal. He was, yeah, good goal as well. I, I always like players who take risks. <laughs> the one thing I'll say is we fell into the Man United trap today. We allowed it to be a ping-pong game. We sh didn't show whatsoever any form of control at all. There was zero mm. control in that you game right. from us. And that's why I'm saying Man United deserve to win. And, and at the end of the day... Next time, if I say I'm worried about a game, maybe the happy clappers can actually listen and stop being so fucking brain dead and just toxically positive. Every time you constructively criticize this team, all they want me to do is come on the Back Again podcast. Uh, back again with Troops TV. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hussam, what do you think of your ga game away against Villa? We're going to smash them 5-0. Hussam, what do you think of the Merseyside derby? We're going to beat them 4-0. We're so much better than Everton. What do you think of Spurs at home? Bro, they lost to Fulham away. We're going to beat them 5-7 yeah. goals. That's what people want. Bro, we have to have a real conversation about this club and us taking the Europa League seriously will end up costing us. And it has cost us today, as you can see, with, is, with important players playing in that in that Europa League game. So we deserve this. And I hope Klopp is humble. And I hope all the players are humble. So they wake the fuck up in the last 10 games of the season. And they stop being so fucking complacent. Jurgen Klopp as well. I'm not going to criticize him because it's the last six months. But taking off Salah and those, those substitutions, that complacency dragged onto the team as well. Because respectfully, Mo Salah, I know he played 90 against, against the Europa League team. 
But respectfully, this game right here, this game right here, after it, there's two weeks international break, and he isn't going to represent Egypt either. So he's sat at home. So why why, why not just keep him on the pitch? So that's the thing I, I couldn't figure out. We really are, in terms of the forward line, cry more if you're a as sexual. Cry more. This forward line is Salah FC when Jot is out. This is it. If Salah doesn't score an assist, we're fucked. So yeah, big up to, 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 to you guys, though. Congratulations, flawless. And Man United deserve the victory. I will. There is no need to be shameless for, from me whatsoever. We fucked every single counter-attack and they took theirs and they scored and they won the game. They deserve to win it. That's it. And we ain't winning no quad. I, I, thank God I never said that word. So that statement never came out my mouth. <laughs> we ain't winning no quad and we ain't winning no league. Only way is start praying. It's Ramadan. <laughs> start praying Arsenal and City drop as many points as possible because we will drop points again from the same exact shit and then the happy clappers will tell me, oh, it's Klopp's last season. And, you know, Diaz is inexperienced. And Nunes is getting used to the language. And Thiago translated to him how to finish a fucking chance. And all the same dumb shit that they told me all year last year. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. The one thing I'll say, though, I said Chelsea. <laughs> I said I'm done one more. Go on. And I, stick, and, I, and I stick by it. I think Chelsea win this, this FA Cup. Remember, Hussam made this prediction. First. Flawless. First, hey, that's that's that, that, that hey, that's a tough act to follow because Sam and people are like, Oh, you go get onto Sam and cook a Sam, and that's why her Sam said it. First thing I messaged in the group chat was, Yo, you are old apologies because of the way you spoke about the game. It's not like Sam was like, Right, we're going to turn up to Old Trafford and win three, four, five nil and walk through you. Our Liverpool favorites for the game, yes, so Sam did predict to win, but he's also aware that it is you have to. There's variables going into this. And like he said, this is a cup final for Manchester United. I was saying this. The place, because I was trying to sort out my Wi-Fi during the watch-along, I had the volume on for, for parts of the game. The place was rocking. And I know before speaking to Saeed and other people was there. And that's for the first time. And I said that on the Back Again pod last week, that this was going to be the game that not only are the players going to get up for, even though I had my doubts, the fans were. Like, I was kind of... I was look. I was actually interested and invested during the game for the first time in a long time watching a Manchester United game. And just on on the Ryan thing as well. Not heard from him. man's quiet in all group. Yeah, chats. heard from him. I heard he's quiet in all group chats. And we are no four ninety nine today. No, no, no super chats. Today. No, there's a United Liverpool group chat. He's not in there. Shameless FC. He's not said nothing. Twitter. He's not said nothing. Someone sent out a smoke signal. You know what I'm saying or something to get that man because he's quiet. Because if Liverpool would have won, he's in here. Of oh, is he here now? Oh, there Don't we go. Any comment. Send four ninety nine now. With Sam, you were right, and and you are the <laughs> you pussy. Always we start the stream. The first <laughs> is Ryan. The first super chat he puts up is you. Why didn't you come here today Why? and say I'm sorry, Hussam? <laughs> <right. laughs> He's right. He's right. Hussam is a hundred and ten percent spot on. He's spot on. Because because oh. you guarantee hey. if Liver Garrett Damteed, if Liverpool win that game three two, the first super chat is him talking about how <laughs> Sam, why didn't you back it? Quadruple chasing Reds. This is why you need to have faith for a turn turn. So you can't like you can't do that. You can't be right in your hearing and then you want to lose and then and turn up forty six minutes into the pod. No 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 no. That don't run. But in regards to the game, obviously over the moon to get through. Liverpool are always number one up for me. I've said that from from early from the jump. So to get the win and proud of the performance in regards to Hassan. It's how far we've fallen up because Hassan mentioned this last week when he spoke about Liverpool playing Manchester City and he was like, he's not with the boys gave everything. But that's because of the level Liverpool have been at. Mm. This is now why I'm sat here praising because I wasn't 110% sure. All I asked from my team is effort, endeavour. And we got that today. And even though Liverpool are a better side than us, they missed their chances. And then the way they played, played into our hands and all of a sudden we scored goals. I thought like Ganacho, for instance, I don't think he was great today, but just I think he was your best player. Yeah, but just being a willing, I don't think he was our best player. But I think he was good to a point. But he just being a willing runner, just taking people on. That's why he's involved he was in two always of the causing goals. Problems. Yeah, he set up the Diallo goal, the goal, the Anthony goal as well. He's the one who's caught in and had the shot, and that's what I'm talking about in regards to just effort and being a try hard and things of this nature. And that's not what we've done all season. I forgive lack of quality to an extent. But lack of um, lack of will and just lack of uh, effort and just trying is ridiculous. In particular against Liverpool at home in the FA Cup quarter final. So through to the semi final, um, we drew Coventry, draw Blessers. You know what I'm saying? The stars have aligned in regards to us getting to the final. I will say that 
Yes, I said it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. like, no flawless. Yes, troops. I'm saying it here to your point. The stars have a line for us to get to the final. I didn't say well, win. win. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, it depends who's on the other side. Which blue team we playing? You know what I'm saying? And that. Is it light or dark blue? That's what it is. Yeah, well, that that, that way. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, we've seen what happened last year. So I, I, hold, I hold fire with that. 41 hey, seconds. Hey, hey, Chelsea, you must show up. But yeah, Chelsea, you must all of a sudden you do show up. But yeah, as I was saying, offer the moon to get the win. Four goals surprised me as well. And we took advantage of Liverpool not being at their best. We did. And even though we did our, some of the couple of the goals we gave up were ridiculous. But other than that, not really no complaints. And to Ten Hag's credit, his subs worked. The Diallo sub worked. The Anthony sub worked. Even pointing at Maguire when he did work. Because I was complaining about the substitutions and he got them right. So, yeah, man. So, salute to Ten Hag. Again, I can't express enough how over the... Despite I'm manager out and I don't like these players, how happy I am and how over the move I am, we've got through. And now we have something to look forward to as well. <laughs> hey, here we go. No 4 99 though. <laughs> Bali, you get Why are you putting it up, <laughs> Troops? He has to pay. Don't put it up. I'm not addressing it. Until you send 4 99 uh, Wallahi, I will not address it. Until That's you send right. the I'm, I'm, send I'm a with 499 that. as you always do. It's yeah. always you and Randy that start the super chats. Today you're quiet. Today suddenly you have no money. But when it's me saying something constructive about the club, you have a lot of money. 499, 499. Hussam, believe. Hussam, believe. Hussam, believe. If, if I believe today, would it have made our forwards better? No, it wouldn't have. And by yeah. the way, Flawless is spot on with this assessment. Some of, some of the, I think all, all the seven goals were dreadful. Like in terms of the way we defended on either side. I hate but, you with that. But the one thing I'll say is um, Man United's chances were more dangerous. Like they, we had chances too, but they had more dangerous chances because they actually made better decisions in the final third, which doesn't make sense. Like you would expect Man United to concede the silly three goals like they the did fact. today. <laughs> but you wouldn't fact. expect Liverpool to concede the dumbass goals that we conceded today. That's the problem. That's where I have a problem with it. You're, you're actually yeah. lucky that it went to extra time because Marcus Rashford, bro. That hey, that cool. Rash, that Rashford miss. It was and offside, though. Was what the error? No, no, the, the, the first one, the one, the one just before yeah, the one um, in the ninety-third minute. Was it onside? Was it offside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there was, showed, there was two. No, nah, the, the first one showed. weren't offside, bro. No, the, the first one you offside. The one in the last minute. Yeah, was that offside? You sure? That was offside. Oh, was it? But even oh, despite yeah. he don't know that he should still score, and I do want to. That's what I'm and, saying. And Ericsson played the ball over the top, and I thought that's another substitute that I forgot as well. I thought he came on and played well. I thought even though we conceded silly goals, I thought from a defensive standpoint, the actual centre backs and the full backs did okay. Mayno, who we spoke about earlier as well, it's a quality player, and he's starting to show even more of what he can do going forward in regards to the dribbling aspect. Like that's something he showed it against Wolves, but he's been playing kind of he's been playing further back. But once he gets forward. He's a threat because we've seen him go past a couple men and cause problems. And we do not have that in our team when it comes to even our wingers can't dribble too tough. So the fact that we got a central midfielder who can offer us that I'm with it. But it's now about getting the right partners next to him and getting the right balance and the right setup to get the best out of him. But yeah, I thought Mayno was good. The attackers, again, Ganacho, Rashford, just make runs. Again, it just comes back to what I'm talking about. Just be relentless. You have to have that type of mentality. And that is one thing Ganacho does have. That's why he got the two penalties against Everton. That's just him picking up the ball and running. That's why people have been so critical of Rashford, including myself. Because you're not... How are you fast and not making runs? Like, despite... You can be offside six, seven, eight, nine times in a row. And that 10th time you make a run, you may get in and score a goal. That's just the way it is. Even Anthony's goal. Spin and shot. Can't remember the last time I've even seen him in that area and take a shot like that and shoot. Like, again, attackers just just try things. You have to have unbreakable confidence. Look at Sterling today. He was getting booed. Sterling was still trying stuff. Still making passes. Still making shots. Even though he took the penalty off man and miss, he took the free kick off him too. You, even though it's the wrong decision, you need to have that type of confidence. You need to. And if you score, it's all hail you. And if you miss, you miss. Guess what? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So, again, salute to the team. Did the business through to the FA Cup semi final. Now we just have to match that against Coventry and hopefully take this form and this result into the league and finish as high up the table as we can. But yeah, we'll see. Well done to Coventry as well. Credit to them beating. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They deserve that as well from the highlights from my scene. They deserve that. They are not dickheads. Uh, this is this much I told you. You see that Mark Robbins manager. I'm surprised that not a Premier League club has looked at him just yet. Yeah, and he's also a next man United boy. I was gonna say that's Mark Robbins who scored in the FA Cup for us, isn't it? 
Yep. Crazy. Yep. That's the same That's one. Crazy. Coventry ain't gonna be easy. Trust me. I, I know this. My, my stepdad's a, a loyal supporter of Coventry, fifty plus okay. years, bro. So, oh, geez. That's that's why sometimes I, I keep an eye on them. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah, a good yeah. team. Hey, hey, Guni, I've watched a struggle against Newport County. There's no just <laughs> roll over to us. I'm fully aware that this team can go there and win and not put in a good performance, or it goes to extra time or something. I don't trust them. They have to match this again consistency. And this is why I'm so been so critical of the team because that performance they put in today, even if we lost the game, I'd still be here with the same energy and go, we lost because of quality. It wasn't it wasn't a skill set thing. Even Hassan mentioned it, the goals we give away, even the second goal is ridiculous. A minute to go to a half time and we try to play out from the back, knowing how Liverpool decision making. Bruno just getting pushed Darwin aside. To get on side as well. It's just but again, Manchester United, that's skill. Decision making ties into the into skill from a mentality standpoint. I've watched us do that all season long, where we've made most of the goals we can see are multiple individual mistakes. It's not just one person. You can pinpoint two, three, four, sometimes five people. Ten Hag went a bit mad though when he had like Bruno at centre back. It worked though because the momentum was. Back, but it did work. Yeah, the momentum was with. You, us, had like, to that, you, you had to throw on all your. I think players. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he played deeper. You're playing like, against Cody Gakpo. You can put us centre back. <laughs> man said that's mad. That ain't man. You can put me centre back and that useless fucker ain't scoring. So it's that ain't mad at Yeah, because he, he did. Have... Dutch. Go on. Ten Hag is Dutch. He's so gakpo. He's like, oh yeah, he ain't scoring. Let me just put Bruno centre back, and it worked. This is yeah, the reality. Dropped him deeper. I like. I don't have no. That's like the momentum. Even though it was with Liverpool for the majority of the majority of the game, like extra time, it was with us, and it probably did tie into Liverpool being a bit tired. But we took advantage of the momentum. And that's what it is when you when you have the momentum in games, you have to go and score, get a goal in front, get two goals in front. And props to the players, they did that. Like we talk about, oh, the never give up attitude, it should be the bare minimum. But for us, it hasn't been. And we haven't been there. But today we did that. Them players fought. They fought today. They, they, they stood up today. Even the players that aren't very good, which is the vast majority, stood up today. Even the subs. Like I say, Anthony scoring goals. You did goals, the same like, at City as well in the first half, like you were on it. That's why... When when Liverpool took lead, I thought, okay, here hmm. we go. Liverpool's gonna get a third, maybe a fourth. Yeah, but you but we, hung in there and yeah, got that, the that's what you have to do, man. It's like a boxer. If you get clipped, sometimes you have to lay on it's the. Like road, you learned your lesson from on. the Man City game. Well, and also Liverpool as well, not being at it. And I say that all the time. Take advantage if the team you are playing, whether they're better than you or not, don't take their chances. People say, oh, we yes. we deserve to win the game. No, the team that deserves to win the game is the team that takes their chances. If you don't take your chances, you don't deserve to win the game. Like, and as long as I kept the same energy for the city at home game, remember? Yeah, yeah, what did yeah, I say? I we didn't take our chances and we didn't deserve to win. This and I give you credit. Yeah, I give take, you credit take, for that. Score, you did. score and you deserve to win. Simple. Yeah. All this, all this, like, bro, we Love had him. a counter attack. It was five on one. Five, five on two. two. Five yeah. on two. Yeah, it was five. No, there was two. a worse yeah. one. There was five on one when Cody Gak was running at, I think it was Maguire alone. Yeah. And he had three <laughs> people on his right <laughs> and one guy on his left. <laughs> How do you fuck up that? That is the most basic counter attack I've ever seen in my whole life. And then troops like, oh, he went mad, Bruno at centre back. He saw Gak was there. Nothing mad at that. I wouldn't be mad at him. I wouldn't be mad at him if he put Onana centre back against Gakpo. That makes sense because the guy's fucking useless. He's very good in Europa League. Sparta Prague. Hat trick. Man United, nothing. This is Cody Gakpo this season. So Man United deserve to win. All these fucking sad stories. I don't want to hear sob stories. Flawless just said Liverpool were a bit tired. Flawless can say that. Hell, mm -hmm. even I can say that. You know who can't say that? All the people who are saying, Hussam, don't have an Arsenal mentality. Yeah. We don't have, we cannot do the bigger fish to fry stuff. We have to win every competition, blah, blah, blah. You can't come tell me they're tired because Klopp played them all two days ago yeah, in, the, yeah. in, in your favorite competition. The Europa League, the <laughs> BTEC, <laughs> <Skip Joker>. European <laughs> Trophy. You know what talk about. Exactly. Ah! Yeah. And it is, and I'm just using that as a oh, reason, shit. maybe, maybe why you dropped off because you could be obviously you you're what it. Closer it is. Yeah, maybe, they maybe can. I'm just, I'm just saying that could be part. You of can use it. They can't call us. Yeah, I don't yeah. want the positive, happy clappers come tell me we were tired. <laughs> yeah, 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 want, yeah that's wanted me To take your up seriously, sir. Huh? Okay, hold it then. Yeah. But even with the taking it serious, you won the first leg five one, right? Mm -hmm. Was it five yeah. one from the first? It was ninety minutes. Ninety minutes. First leg, you could just ninety minutes. He could 90 have minutes, Mo Salah coming back from yeah, injury. Yeah, that's, on, that's on the manager. 11 2. 11 2. Are they going to score 13 <laughs> goals in fucking 45 minutes? No, they won't. So take off the motherfucker and rest him. <laughs> Yo, Hassam's. Hey, people. Hassam's right. It's 5 1. You played under 21s. There's no way. And even if, let's say, Sparta Pago 2 3 0 up, 
Then you have a couple of the senior players on the bench to bring on. You have a Van Dyke, a couple of McAllister, and then you're and then you're calm. That's on Klopp. That is that you have to look at Klopp. And then it's also on the Liverpool players as well, because you can't praise them and say go for all four trophies and when they fall short, sure, make excuses for them. You can't. I like as Sam said, Liverpool had not so much in terms of chances, but had so many good opportunities. So many times I'm watching that game, I'm like, oh, they're gonna score. Fuck. And five on one, five on two, a man are making the wrong pass or overhitting the pass or under hitting the pass. So like, no, 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 you need to be doing much better. You need to, because United are great. Question. What's stopping yeah, that from happening again? On a real. Because you see now when we when we go back to the league conversations that I've had over mm. the last three months, what is stopping this from happening again? Honestly, what yeah. is, is 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 Gakpo don't and you think Diaz this is and just a, so what? You don't see this as a up? so what? You don't see this as a bad day. You see what this I'm as saying, like yo, this is like yo, we've hit where this is a, a small indicator. This is a small indicator of the bigger message. In order for Liverpool to win the league, what needs to happen? Let's be real. Liverpool need to win ten from ten. Let's yeah. cut the bullshit. Let's say it as it is. Liverpool need to win ten from ten. I said we're the least likely team to win ten from ten, and today is a smaller indicator of that. Because I can see this happening again. What is stopping us from having 50 chances and missing them all again? Let's be real. Other than the return of Diego Jota, before Klopp plays him in a dead rubber Europa League game and he gets injured again. But, you know, other than the return of, of Diego Jota... What is He's on to Klopp, lad. <laughs> no, because I want a logical explanation. How can this I'm stop him? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This the, all, the, only thing, and the only thing you can do, like in regards to wasting the chances, he can't change that in regards to if Jota and Salah are yeah. not there or not on it. But you mentioned about it being a ping pong match. That's what I think Klopp can change and is good enough to do is have more control. Because the end to end stuff, it was a great FA Cup tie. I know neutrals loved that. I didn't as a United fan at all. I felt like I'd played in the game watching that. I did I not think that was enjoy the best that. game of the but season yeah. so far. But yeah, like before before, yeah. before that game today, it was Chelsea, Man City, the four four. Now it's this one, and that was very entertaining. But I bet if yeah. you talk to Chelsea fans, or you know, if you find a City fan, they was it caught. They they'll tell you that that game was like they felt emotionally drained after it, and that's what it was like watching that. Especially because not only is it Liverpool at home, there is an FA Cup fight. It's not just three points, and you go, all right, we're going from six to fifth. Or you're going from third to second. No, there's an FA Cup semi-final place at stake. So, yeah, I think Klopp, and I want to be wrong on this, is smart enough to not play the exact same way in the game in the Premier League and try and play with a little bit more element of control and not just go gung ho Because they'll create chances regardless because everybody creates chances against us. And then we Yo, I'm going to I'm gonna jump out and come back in because some people are saying my team's moving mad. I know Yeah, I know that's and that and that's it, like that in regards to it. But yeah, again, over the moon, over the moon. Big up Akil. He says, "Question to Flawless: Who should replace Ten Spliffs?" Shout out to Lex because me and him was discussing this yesterday on the Yardman show. Personally, I've said my personal. I love that show. Uh, I love that show as well. I was in the chat. Yeah, that was a great... I missed yeah, it yeah. yesterday. Last week, had they had me spinning. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lex and Kim. Oh, Lex, man. I love Lex. Yeah. Yo, that one hilarious, man. Yo, that one. I thought, what are you laughing at? I said, that's a great show idea, Flawless. That's a great show idea. Appreciate it, That's genuinely one of my favorite shows. Yeah, it's hilarious, man. That man just be cracking me up, Lex and Kim. They just go. Yeah. Yo, that's what it is. Someone said it in the chat. It gives you barbershop vibes. That's the idea. That's it. That's why I just click go yeah, live. And that's like, right, has one of the guys that watches hella football, like from all over the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaneki yeah, yeah, yeah. is there. That's why when people say, "Oh, there's no, there's no such and such in the market," talk to Kaneki. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. there's because there's players who or have Steve, been signed now. Yeah, Steve's one of them. Kaneki's one of them. Jez is another. They're not normal. They're aliens when it comes to this. So when people talk about, "Oh, there's no, there's no value in the market for such and such," these men are talking about certain players that we are talking about now that get signed. Like Jez has done it. He's pulled up tweets from two years ago where he's like, "Oh, I was talking about such and such, and now such and such has been signed." But yeah, shout out to them. But in regards to um, the Admin Show, I need to get you one as well, troops. On that, mm. um, definitely. Um, who should replace Ten Hag? My personal pick, I would go with Flick. But I've already said this. What the board. And the hierarchy need to do is all sit down and like we're gonna play this way, we're gonna play this style and pick a manager that fits the style. That's you might get Graham mean. Potter fam. Yeah, if we get Graham Potter, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Potter out and in yourself before he gets the job. If we get Potter or like I don't want no manager that has been here. Like, 
well, because some of the people that have been linked with is not even better than Ten Hag. Let's be real. Oh yeah, we've been linked with some awful, but we gonna get we've been linked with like eight, nine Stop managers. Eight. That gonna carry on. Can you imagine that happens on a real? Yeah. Yeah, like if you get one, man. get that's your club going oh, down. Oh, the drain. that's yeah, that's just Ollie in a waistcoat. I ain't trying to see mm -hmm. South. <laughs> He's only in a waistcoat. Him. I've seen him at England and I'm like, this shit looks familiar. Mm -hmm. These man just wearing white instead of red. Mm -hmm. And they're playing <laughs> countries instead of clubs. <laughs> it's the same thing. I've been here. Hey, you know what? Not winning a fight, losing in the final where you should have won it. Whoever seen that before. But yeah, Flick. But the board needs to sit down and pick a manager <laughs> who, like I said, has a set style that they want to, they need to pick a set style and pick a manager for that. That needs to be the aim. We need a complete reset. Whoever that is, I'm not fussed, but I don't want any manager who's managed in the Premier League or who's currently managing in the Premier League. Only exception to that rule is Carlo Ancelotti. Bring new. Big up Todd Miller. He says, who saw him speech, please don't cook me. Tears. First of all, Ted, uh, speech is spelt with double E, not E-A. That's the fruit that you're thinking about. Second <laughs> of all, that would be true if I didn't sit here on Friday before a ball was even kicked and I said this game worries me and I have a bad feeling about this game. <laughs> Big up for the Super Chat though. I know you're a real one always supporting Turks TV. Behold that. Big up man like Daniel. He says Gusto or Palmer are the best signings we have made in the Bowie era. We are 15th and out of all cups without them. Two out of five players that I would keep at Chelsea. Real talk. And, and I'll ask you about the rest though. Yeah, and out of those five players, two of them I haven't seen have a run of three or four games. So I'm just giving them the benefit of the doubt to say I need to see them play more. But we'll get on to that. Big up Sing G. Says, big up Trooper and the panel. Liverpool needs less games and to focus on Premier League. United will have to try to beat City again. Flawless, your wallet. Nah, big up every time. Hey, big up to you, Sing G. And hey, 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 City got to get past Chelsea first. Let's not just write off Chelsea. This is not what we're doing here. Chelsea, you must. Man like Ed. He says, Ray Ray is a clown. Hey, best super chat of the day. <laughs> best super chat of the day. Best super chat. There's been some good ones, but I this is you, bro. You know. I'm going to make you a moderator on this in football after this stream. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make you more. Big up to you, Ed. Big up C Knack. He says, Hussam, come outside. Ray Ray, where are you? Egal voice. Bro, this Egal stuff. Flawless fuck you for that, honestly. What, what, you Jack. made it public. He says flawless with a sig would be cherry on the top. I'll, I'll smoke. Neither should you. Don't speak, you guys. Yeah, don't, 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 don't smoke, don't, people. Don't, guys. don't smoke. Todd Miller back again. He said, I felt, I feel after that speech, you saw him needs potch tears. We'll get Christian to Chelsea Knight. now, but when he gets sacked and nothing changes, you'll see why the owner is at the big <laughs> up. Big up S S two the C one says who saw him hold that Gakpo runs like he's wearing Tim's some Hesky stomp. Van Dyke <laughs> is finished. Shout out the pod. Don't ever disrespect Emil Hesky like that. Ask the guys about Hesky and Owen. They they grew up watching them. That that was Hesky was cold back in the day. KSI made him a meme, but like Prime Hesky was really good. You know? Big up man like S. He says, Hope Hussam, Hope Hussam's room has a chimney. 20 pack gone quick. Unfortunately. Big up Oscar Bob. He says, This Hussam brother is rattled. Years of finishing second behind Man City have finally broken him. And Oscar, if the Sheikh bought Spurs, you'd be a Spurs fan right now. But big up for the Super Chat. Big up Lee Burnell, my dog. He says, flawless, which was worse, McTominay or Rash? Yeah, I, I forgot about well. Oh, yeah, I forgot about McTominay's miss. That was terrible. Both. At one, what, what, at one yeah, nil? Yeah, one nil. It was one nil. And then, yeah, and then they went down the other end pretty much and, one, and scored. One. Yeah, and it went one, one. Yeah. Both terrible misses. Two players who are just not good enough. And both, I've seen both misses. Ours, and like, they both scored. I believe it. And they mm. both scored alongside Anthony. Over the moon for Diallo, though. I need to mention that as well. So happy that he got the winner. Over the, over the moon for Diallo, genuinely, because the criticism he's received and he hasn't even played is crazy. People cri people critiquing this man's game and he's not even touch pitch. Like, that just, like, if there's ever an agenda, that is, oh, he's not good enough. How do we know? 
You telling me that album's terrible and you've listened to two tracks and it's a 20 track album. What are we talking about here? We all need to stop with their agendas and just be honest and just say, I want to back 10 hard, 10 hard regardless. Cool. Be honest with your agend agendas and biases, people. And that's calm. I know people that are like that. Eddie's like that. He's on my channel. If you're a technical baller, he'll love you. He's already like that. You don't care about anything else. If you're technical, he's like, yeah, that's my done. Just be honest. We got Jay Sykes. He says, Europa League parade incoming. Europa theme music. Oh, 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 oh. Do, 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 do. Are you going to have a Champions League parade? Or are you just going to have participation medal once again, as per usual? Bro, just hold your L, blood, bottom row, blood. Your, where are you in the league? You're third in the league. You're about to crumble, blood. You're about, <laughs> yes, your fan base running out quadruple. Bro, My reality is your dream, brother. Quadruple Get where, one. blood? Then we talk. Quadruple where, blood? You're there. You're, you're gonna parade. The I'm Carabao the reason Cup why you're out this you competition mom. that you're mocking. You paraded me for the Jimmy. Carabao Cup, blood. I beat yeah? you in your own backyard. You How paraded the Carabao Cup, blood. Yeah. Anthony scored against me and yeah? Saka couldn't. Hold that. Yeah. Saka's top of the league. Where are you, blood? Hold that. There you are. Saka's Hold top that. of the league, just like there last season. There you are. There you are. There you are. You're top of the league last are. season. What happened? There you are. We know how the story ends. There you are, blood. Hold that, blood. Yeah. Smoke some more cigarettes, blood. You're rattled, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke some more cigarettes, blood. Big I up Singers King. Fan, <laughs> he says, soon as can hold that deluded old bell end. Yeah, he I looked. Uh, he yeah, because he was on. He looked mad sour. Keem was cussing at half time, and then soon as was cussing at uh, extra time forward. Mm -hmm. Big up Nicholas Jackson. He says Sterling makes me look good. He is trash. Big up Amin. He says if Tuchel was in charge today, Liverpool would have won. Yes, that's why they're in second place to the Tottenham Hotspur of Germany. Oh. Big up Akil. He says, big up the pod and love to everyone and their fam. Come on, big up your damn self, broski. Big up, big up Frankie. He says, you know who I feel for the most this international break? Who psalms lungs. Man's about to smoke Jordan. <laughs> 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 that is that's you know what that's just something you could just hang up anywhere yeah, and everybody did agreement man. yeah like, that's a, <laughs> like riot is a clown is just a commandment at this point this is yeah. one thing everybody just universe universally agrees on no one ever like, oh, you man are too harsh on him. Nah. No. Everyone's nah, like, yeah, nah. we understand. I was at the start. Then I realized. Well, you, said to me, right, you know what's crazy? Now I That's see. you. Everybody who's on the channel who sees me interact with him goes, yo, why do you treat him so harshly? I right, yeah. spend 20 minutes with him on the stream and they go, yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. <laughs> I get yeah, it. I get I it, I, 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 The only time yeah. I spent with him was in the comment section and I already <laughs> hate him. <laughs> Facts, blood. Big up Kosovo Baller. He says, Ray Ray going to blame McAllister soon. Mm. Have no words, honestly. Because you know he probably might. Big up Chris. He says Sterling was atrocious. Liverpool played with kids. No, we didn't. That's not an excuse. Big up LJ. He says Ray Ray gone missing like a Diddy allegation. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> yo. Oh, <whoa. laughs> no Diddy. Hey. Said, no like, Diddy, Vlad. <laughs> you get me? Big up Zane. He says, if Ten Hag finishes fourth and wins FA Cup while Klopp finishes second slash third, only won a uh, Carabao Cup, who has had the better season? Usam, United or City to win the FA Cup? Chelsea. We'll see. Wow, you've got a lot of faith in us, bro. Mm. And then the I first part, I hope if you know, if Ten Hag finishes fourth and wins the FA Cup, while Klopp gets second and third, and only won that the so FA Cup the best that's season. Chat, like, I've, yeah, I'm having a look. Yeah. I would say I would say Ten Hag because I put I value the FA Cup over the league. It's a bigger cup, yeah. But, but that doesn't mean just to clarify, people. That doesn't mean Ten Hag should stay or Ten Hag's a better manager than Klopp. No, I should stay, man. Give a new deal. Definitely. See, hey, hey, see, rival, see how rival fans talk about the manager people. Just to yeah, clarify, man. yeah. See, Big up Ted Spliffs, man, done his thing today, mm -hmm. blood. Big up Dan Levitt. He mm -hmm. says, "Big up all and flawless." Will you be more piss if you were to lose to Coventry and all the work goes away for nothing, or are you guys just happy that you guys end Liverpool? 
Coventry did beat you in the cup back in 07. They beat us in 07. Why not? That's a throwback. You know what? I forgot about it because we lost. So that's what that is. I don't remember losses for United. But of course, if we lose to Coventry, I'll be pissed. But if you're giving me an option and say lose to Coventry in the FA Cup or Liverpool, of course I'm picking Coventry. What are we talking about here? Big up Herman. <laughs> says, just wanted to super chat to say Ray Ray is a clown. Big up the foot. Big up the food ball club. Usam did say in multiple shows he's weary of United despite the form and United fans all said he was wrong. Nothing to hold but our heads in shame. Fact. Big up Sonica. It's a shout out to the squad. Usam, you're a fraud. A frigid, a fidget spinner. Trasford violated your quad. Hold that. I never believed in it in the first place, but first. Lee Burnell, my dog. Ray Ray is a certified wild lad. Yeah, Ray Ray, you're getting cooked now, blood. You should be getting cooked still. I'm not going to lie. Hussam's paying for your crimes. Big up Enigma. He says, some, save some roasting for Spurs. Don't worry, bro. You see the Premier League games? We're going to send for their club. Big up Brox 2 2. United, United, United. Hold that, Hussam. Rise flawless. These men forgot who we are. With their one COVID league. Hold that clock as well. <laughs> hey, enjoy the win, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what I say to you, my guy. Enjoy the win. That's what I'm on. And I ain't looking past it today. I'm looking at it tonight. We won. That's it. FA Cup semi final. Let's run it. Big up Jack. He says, thanks to all the entertainment. Appreciate you all. Appreciate you too, bro. Glad that the people them are enjoying. We've got over 2,000 in here right now. We've only got 600, no, 722 likes. Let's get to 1,000 likes, my people. We're, we're likes, also man. redirecting at the end to Alha, to, to Alwa. So, you get me? Don't go, don't go anywhere. Big up, Andrew. I've been with Hamza for two hours. Yeah, you're stressed, blood. After dealing with uh -huh. this, we, we kind of got easy. Pause. So, to, do your one, you're fucked. Big up, Andrew. He says, big up, Goonie. Time for you to cook. Been a minute. Big up the kill one more time. He says, yo, Flawless, Miguel Gutierrez to United. Yes or no? No idea who that is, so I can't comment. I think we were linked to him in January. Big up Danny. He says, big up troops who saw him. How dare you compare the Norwegian football team with the Jordan team? Want us qualify for the World Cup three times. Hold that, you wallad. Oh, this is the Danny, most random beef. You and me will be both watching the Euros. Yes, the with random beef, story. bro. I need this, man. Norway yeah, versus Norway. I need to be <laughs> Ross I'm Norway, ain't even, uh, Norway has never even made the, the Euro final. We made the Asian Cup final. Hold that. Got you there. Big up Go Joel Eaton. Dance. Real G in the cup. He says, big up to the Gs. Ozil for Arsenal or Cesc for Chelsea? Come on, man. Fabregas, blood. Are you, are you sure? 100% sure. Fabregas actually won meaningful cups, bro. Yeah, but I look chose. who Fabregas had around him in the team. Look who Ozil had. He had Donkey Kong. It, it doesn't matter, bro. That, yeah, that, that Ozil that, had 19 assists by January and Donkey Kong fucking ruined it. Listen, Fabregas and Costa, that partnership. If Ozil had Costa, that would have been a Premier League. We had, he had Donkey Kong. I'd go Ozil personally. What do you mean? Who's, who's Donkey Kong? Who's this Donkey Kong you're referring fucking to? Fucking Giroud. How dare you? Do you know what he done when he came to Chelsea? I don't care what he did at your club. He was rubbed at mine. It is, so how could he be Donkey Kong if he because comes to Chelsea club, and Donkey helps Kong. us win yeah, the Champions League? Sounds, like, sounds, like sounds like a Arsenal problem. Who's the steamy cussing, blood? We, yeah, blood, you're laughing. It's fucking wild. Big up Jack. He says, big up Ozil. Ozil 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 he says, Klopp just called a reporter fat. I dropped it in the group chat. Yeah, yeah I dropped it in the group chat. I, I, saw, it. Is... I, yeah. mm. I can't believe I have it. no problem with that, by the way. All great managers are sore losers when they lose. No, but they don't... When did Fergie call someone fat? When did Wenger do that? When did Fergie do that? Done done that? Not worse stuff. Let's not go there. Come on. Goonie. Chelsea 4, Leicester 2. It was looking comfortable at half time. You get me? I jumped in the shower. Pause. Um, while I was in there, Carter ran in. Dad, it's 2-2. Two, two. I said, what? I said, you're lying, blood. I said, Trey, get a fortnight and go check the score, blood. Trey pulled up. <laughs> Dad, it's 2-2. Two, two. Yo, the second goal's a mad thing, Dad. He took souls. Gusto went shop and Casado gave him hella space. So when I came back in the room, I checked on that. I saw he wasn't lying. You understand? 
The sending off probably changed the game. Cole Palmer was absolutely cooking, not going to lie. Um, another great performance from him. Um, what are you telling me on this, blood? I, this is your only chance at Europe because the league is done. So this is your only chance. At, this is literally your all or nothing. No pun intended. First of all, big, big up my guy Clank. He's just in here to just laugh at me. He, he does it. I'm telling you, this guy does not follow football. Whatever Chelsea lose, he's just there to troll me 100%. But big up yourself. First thing I'm going to say is this, yeah. We were playing Leicester. Championship team. I don't care if they're top. I don't care about their history. Championship team, right? That performance in the second half was an utter disgrace. Raheem Sterling, as bad as he was, it's not even just him. As shocking and crap as he was, I'm not even just going to stick it on him. There's this one player in my team that my fan base had the audacity to call the Black John Terry. They called him the Black John Terry. He That's goes crazy. by the name of Axel Disasi, bro. Axel Disasi. Tell me what this guy was doing for that own goal. Tell me. That's probably that the mad. only... That's probably the only 25 yarder he'll ever score in his career. <laughs> what was this guy doing, first and foremost? Sanchez, this guy should not be a Premier League goalkeeper. He should not. This guy should be in the championship. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. To those Chelsea fans that are coming in and saying, yeah, man, all positives. I am not like who Sam says. I'm not Mr. Toxic Positivity. I am not a happy clapper. I look at things and the reality for what they are. We were supposed to beat Leicester. So the next thing that I take from it, from we're supposed to beat a team, is the manner of which we defeat this team. It took a 10-man Leicester for us to beat them 4-2. Because let me tell you something. The way that game was going in the second half, that fully could have gone to extra time. 100%. At bare minimum, it could have fully gone to extra time. I don't know what this Pochettino guy says at half time. I don't know why this guy makes the substitutions that he does. It's mad. The fact that you took off Mudrick before you took off Sterling was mental. Absolutely mental. Yeah. And like I said, the players that stood out for me, two players that stood out for me, obviously one made the mistake for one of the goals, Malo Gusto. But they're the players that I keep saying, these are the guys I will keep. Malo Gusto. And Cole Palmer. Yeah, you said you'll keep five players. So who are those five? Only five out players. A, out, of a 20, out of a 29 squad. Malo Gusto, Cole Palmer, Caicedo, and Kunku and Lavia because I haven't seen them play a run of games. The rest of them can go. And I'm including Enzo. I'm including Nicholas Jackson. I'm including Mudrik. I'm including them all. Petrovic actually, backup goalkeeper. Carney. Chu say he hasn't had a run of games. So let's add him. Let's make that six. Let's make that six to be Co fair. Colwell, then? Carney. Bro, listen. Levi Colwell, no comment. Right now, he's on <laughs> he's on neutral ground, bro. It's no comment right now, cuz. First, first, first. I'm just asking that. I interest that's all. Because you yeah. have to understand who you're talking to in terms of how long I've been watching football for and how long I've watched Chelsea for. Oh, I, I, come from an, football, I come from an era of dominance. I come from an mm -hmm. era of not being fooled yeah, about... He's, he's a Mourinho fan. Bro, no, I know no, no, no. what Abramovich era. Sack, win. Sack, win. Sack. I know Who what. Like, bro, World why are we pressed the button? Why are choose we before that. Button? Choose before that. Before that, I know what world class players or world class potential looks like. You cannot fool my two eyes. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If some of you lot are sitting here and telling me. That Enzo Fernandez, yes, I'm picking him because he's a favorite that nobody wants to pick out. Yeah, if you guys are Lewis's telling me like, that's Lewis's all like be all and this is what I'm saying. My lying floor. <laughs> this is what <laughs> no, I love Enzo, listen. Blood, I love no listen, Lewis, Lewis is my lying. guy. Lewis is my you guy. Got, Enzo can't please, do no wrong. But please show me, please show me the potential that you have seen for this guy to become an elite midfielder. I'm talking like this because I want to see Chelsea go back to the times where if you are not top five or six in your position, we're not going in for you. We're not. We were told by the owners, we're going to sign the elite of the elite young players. I haven't seen a single one of them. What I have seen, though, is Jude Bellingham go to Real Madrid. What I have seen, though, what I haven't seen, is Chelsea even try and make an ambitious offer for Mbappe. I'm not saying that we get him, but if you're buying the club and saying you're going for the elite of the elite youngsters, then you've got to go for these players. Yeah, I don't fair. see you doing. I don't see you doing that. 
Yeah, you at least make an offer. Yeah, this yeah, is I what I'm trying you. to say. And we're going for this model of under 23s, under under 25s. Why are we doing this? What in, in, in what football team have you ever seen be successful with a group of youngsters? When have you ever seen it? Even the class of of of, of ninety two, they had they had there seen experience. Yeah, there was experienced men who were bad boy ballers at that time. This yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it, Steve Bruce Pallister, the Bruce list goes Pallister, on. Irwin, yeah, yeah, yeah. It weren't just Michael. young kids. Yeah. No, it, 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 it weren't just young kids. Yeah. It weren't just young kids. Cold, so it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. never gonna work. It's never gonna work. And even still, like, bro, show me something. Show me a glimpse of something more than a handful of times. A lot of people in the comments are saying, oh, why are you going for Enzo? Listen, man, if I can't help it if this guy's having one, one outstanding game every five or six games. That's not enough for me to say a player's world class. I can show you average players, bang average guys that do that. Decisi did it against Manchester City. Why should I have the belief that he's going to become world class? Mm -hmm. This is what I'm trying to say. Now, Cole Palmer... This is a player that's just come in from Manchester City and he had like how many how many starts in the senior team? Yeah. And yet he's performing 24. like this. Yeah, he's a yeah, yeah, he's a baller. That's he's that's why baller. I don't that's why I don't hear the excuse when like there's no excuse for all right, a certain player or players playing below par. People go, Well, look at everyone around him. No, you should still perform to a certain level if you are of a certain quality, like a Cole Palmer. Like we spoke about Maino at Manchester United. This is what I'm saying. These, you, these, yeah. these guys are showing you something. Although yes. the, the rest of the squad is bad, these guys yes. are constantly stepping up and doing yeah. something for you. Mm. Yeah. Oh, another player I forgot to add in. Reese James has to stay 100%. Reese James has to stay. I forgot about him because he's been injured for so long. What's but he's got to stay. Is that your cheerleader? Who, Reese James? Yeah, he ain't fit. He never fit, blood. But uh, listen, listen. Uh, <laughs> Just come back fit. You've had that. You've had the surgery. Hopefully, you're better this off is getting Lauren blood. Nah, bro. Listen, I'm not gonna cook Reese James. He had this. The only thing that I wanted from Reese James because I heard if he has surgery, it could fix the long term issue. That's all I asked for, and that's what he got. So hopefully, he'll come back and he'll do it, and, and and he'll be back to his old self. And we wish him a it. we wish him a speedy recovery. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. He's a quality player. Hundred yeah. percent. Now. Now, Hussam, you said something about the manager, Pochettino. Whether if he goes, things are not going to change. I agree with you to a degree, but that doesn't mean that he's not a Satanist. Do you want me to tell you why that this guy is a Satanist? That's a new one. No, he is. That's a new one. No, he is. Man said Lucifer. Pochettino. Pochettino. Pochettino is a Satanist. Do you know why? His tactics do not help him at all. His tactics don't help him. He makes nonsensical decisions. Constantly making nonsensical decisions that, that, that cost us games as well. I can't have this guy at the club. On top of that, when you look at this guy's history, the only place he's won is at PSG. The three of us with that squad. Mm, I see that, this. That's why I don't get when Hussam says, I take Poch. I'm like, bro, you're right. No, listen. Bro, the thing is, like, everything Goonie said at the start, I agree with, but... Once again, it becomes the same question of like, how do you say all that? And then you say Poch needs to leave. Because everything, like the first five minutes, everything Goni said, I agree with. That I'm not finished word. though. But that's the thing. I'm not finished. Oh. Because oh. Poch is the smallest problem out of all the problems at Chelsea. But he's still a glaring issue for me. The bigger problem is the recruitment team. Because they're the ones that gutted out our road squad and bought in this rubbish that we have to see. Yeah. And then obviously the main problem is the ones who hired those, those those recruiters, and that is the owners of Chelsea Football Club. Those are the two biggest problems. But as of now, let's be real, have a real conversation. We're not getting the owners out of Chelsea. We're not. Getting owners out of a football club is a very, very, very difficult thing to do. So the next best thing to do is I'll get the recruiters out. Yeah, there you go. The next best thing to do is get those recruiters out and change this philosophy of signing under 23s, under 24s. Do you know that we came out the other day and actually said that we're looking to sign three, three of the best, the top players in the world in every position that are under 23 years old? My club is going to get cooked, bro. What are we really thing doing? Is, thing is, uh, that's, I'll, I'll that's say terrible. this with a Poch argument. I don't think oh, Poch, yeah. I've already said this before, by the way, um, I don't think Poch is the guy that's going to win you a Premier League or whatever. I just don't think currently sacking Poch isn't going to do anything other than reset a, just click a reset button. 
I think your club's biggest issue is the the is the direction. You said you grew up on what? On your club sacking a manager, winning, sack manager, win. You don't have any emotional attachment to a manager like, oh my God, he can't be sacked. It's about winning. So the guys that change that are Bowley, Iqbali, Stewart, Win Stanley. Those are the biggest problem. Now, I, I, I think Poch is, Poch is more responsible than the players. So for me, if I'm giving percentages, I've already said this before, I say 80% directors, uh, I'm sorry, 85% directors, 10% Poch, 5% players. So I think Poch is more to blame than the players. However, my basis, basis of the argument has always been the same. If he goes, which he eventually will, you're going to get a new manager in, and it ain't going to get that much better to the point where you're like, oh, I, I agree. recognize the difference in Chelsea. I this agree. Is the thing. Yeah, so but that's what I'm saying. Sacking him would just be pointless in my opinion. But this is why I say, Hussam, this is another thing that I've said before. Before Pochettino gets sacked, those two recruiters need to go before him. Because number one, they should not be trusted to pick another manager. Number two, with the players that they come, they're, they're picking to come into this club, I'm sorry, it's not good enough. Then you've got this guy like U Ukuli Valisi saying Chelsea are a long-term project. Trust the pro trust the process, merchant. You see, these people they don't realize. They don't. Re they don't realize how far we've dropped in the past eighteen months. And if this trend continues, where do you think it's going to end up? Because there has to be a process now for me to trust the future. So what you think two 12th place finishes is what's going to make me trust the process? Thanks. There's no right. process, especially in the Premier League. In the Premier League, it's one of the most... It is the most cutthroat league in Europe. You're never too big to go down. Yeah, chat to Leeds down, blood. West Ham. This yeah, is what yeah, I'm saying. Chat to these clubs, down, bro. You're never too big to go down. And yeah. you know another thing? Even that. Do you know how long it will take to get back in the Champions League, potentially? Oh, troops is right there. Yeah, let's have it, let's have it right, Troops. I'm not bantering you, but how long did it take you to get back in Champions League positions? Bro, we 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 our last Champions League game, well, before was was 2017, bro. And, it can and we only at, came back in 2023. And them years can just add up like that quickly, and quick. people really do underestimate a quick six that years. It is. And then do a use quick. words like project and process. You know what that word does? Yeah. Alleviates the, it, it alleviates the manager and the players of any, of any form, pressure. Any pressure and any accountability. Accountability, you second, that's the one floor. Process, yeah, you finish second, it's a project. You finish third, it's part of the project. You finish fourth, it's a part of the project. If you finish fifth and get to a domestic cup final, it's a part of the project. Where's the results in this? So you can pretty much do anything. You can finish seventh twice, two, three seasons, or oh, it's a part of the project. There's no, what's the end goal? When is the project over? What is the aim? People act like you in a process you can't get wins. This is what I'm trying to say. Ridiculous. This is, this is exactly what I'm trying to say. For us to be going in the direction that we should be going, we need to bring in not just experience, because experience is not just exclusive to age. Exclu experience is also relative to where you have been in your footballing career. You can be 23 or 24 years old and have played in World Cup finals, Champions League finals, one competitions. That's the kind of experience that we need as well as seniority in our club. This is the issue that we're finding at Chelsea. We signed Moises Caicedo. This guy's talking about N'Golo Kante is my hero. I want to I, I wanna be like him. I want to emulate his career. We sign him, we sell N'Golo Kante. Who does this guy have to look to at the club? <clears throat> for any kind of guidance, for any kind of development, nobody. Even Enzo Fernandez. I know that there's there's talent there. There is talent there. But who does he have to to to, to nurture that talent at the club? Because I hear what Goonie's is... saying, you know. Because when... <laughs> sorry to cut you. Because when Cesc came to Arsenal, he had... He, he was learning off Vieira, Gilberto. You understand? That's why yeah. he got to that level, because he was learning from the greats of, of, of the era that was just yeah. about to end. Exactly. You're learning from the you're learning from two World Cup winners, Brute Boy. Yeah, yeah. And people really underestimate and people really underestimate that. People really underestimate the impact. You under that can that's have why players. that's why that's yeah. why Foden is better than Saka because he's learning around quality players. Like this Morris is, is teaching him things. Bernardo mm. Silva's teaching him things. Pause. They're all Gems. showing him. Like, it's so even, even before them. That's just, then. That's just the, teaking him. That's just true, teaking even himself. before then. Even before then. When these kids were youths, bro, they had the David Silva and all these guys at the mm -hmm. club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facts. See, like, Cole Palmer and them, man. When, when they, yeah, who's, yeah, come and watch David and them train. The man has you youth, man, sitting there. Yo. Yeah. Watching yeah. The, some of the greatest R R Rondo games you'll see. Yeah. You understand? Know, you look at the yeah. likes of, like, like even like Pedri and them, Pedri's round Busquets. Why yeah, even Pedri's at that level, bro? 
Because exactly. you have to learn from the dons. Like Saka, he's basically teaching himself. Yeah, because they can give you... Like, Folders like learning, but then he's like, a man will say, yo, watch this. Da, 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 da. Add that to yeah. your game. Exactly. Saka only gets that when he goes to England. You yeah, because they can give they can give you like small pieces of advice and it might mm -hmm. mean, mean, so, mean so minor mm -hmm. and it just mm -hmm. enables you to I mean, Bellingham said it for himself. Bellingham said, bro, I'm literally annoying Mudrick and Cruz. Every day I'm like, yo, how do I do that? I saw you do how this. Yo, what do I do? Oh, if, I'm this, if, I, if I'm in this uh, predicament, how do, I, how, do I, how do I attack it? Should I hold the right. ball here? Should I move right there? He's like a sponge. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you see him going again because he's literally Ooh. hanging off these man paws. Like mm. when they shit, he's there, Paul's like, yo. This is this is why, this is why, listen, congratulations, we made the semi-finals. It's a great thing. But I look at things long term. This is why I cannot fully buy into this. Because at the end of the day, I love my club, but I'm also I've also been watching football long enough to know and understand how things work. It's 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 that simple. While this model is going to continue. This one point, however billion project that we've spent money on, it's humiliating. Have you ever, any one of you three, ever seen a club decline like this in the space of 18 months? Nah, even nah. our drop was... Nah, crazy. it's nah. crazy because... This is it's, mad. Like, we, yeah, kept, we kept Europa. We yeah, like the Europa, and then we were just Europa. Yeah, you lot have gone to like mid table, bro. Like, there's a, actually a legit a conversation, like, no banter aside, that Chelsea are genuinely a mid table club. Like this that's a genuine, that's a genuine like conversation. If you finished whatever it was last season and then tenth eleventh this season, it's like, all right. If you then finish tenth eleventh again next season, are you then a mid table club? Yeah. Do we have to just look at forget the money, forget the name Chelsea, and look at the standard of what's going on? I've not seen a drop off like this, and even I'm surprised by it. And that's where my Leeds criticism is the of only Puch one. Comes Someone said it in the chat. Leeds is the only one. Yeah, yeah. That Leeds drop off a big crazy. club that. Obviously, they got relegated as well. Oh, that, like, that, that was finance. also down to that was also down to finances. The as owners, well. yeah, because Let's they were spending right, yeah. stupid money, like with the, the Ferdinand signing, the Rob, Robbie Fowler, Robbie Keane. They were going. Well, these guys, exactly. That was also down yeah, to finances. Yeah, but Chelsea are the other way around. They're signing all the kids in the world. Yeah, but you've got the money. It's not washed up players. They're just signing a bunch of kids. That nah, Leeds, that don't get mistaken. Years, no. That Leeds squad was a bad. They was in a Champions yeah. League Ian final. Hart, a Olivia year and a half before. Yeah, they got to the semi final, mm -hmm. semi final of the Champions, Champions League. League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this, they, this I is think what I mean. So, a season and a half later, they got they had that yeah. madness in Galatasaray, RIP those fans that lost their yes, life. Like. 100%, but this 100%. is, but this, this is the thing. It's like, this is, this is why I can't fully buy into this thing. I'm never going to be happy until we, we, we're back competing to where we once were. I'm never going to be happy with that. Even if we win an FA Cup, and I know this is a saying that we hear all over the content creators, it's just papering over the cracks. I, I get concerned that if we win this FA Cup, which I I don't know at this point in time, but if we win this FA Cup, the owners are going to look at that and, and say, you see, go, yeah. yeah, you, you, yeah, you yeah, see, yeah, yeah. we're just going to stick with this process. We're going to stick with this. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. And what's the crazy part is people will criticise you, Goonie, for like wanting to get back to the top and say to you, I bet you've heard this, oh, it's not Chelsea of old. But the aim is not Chelsea yeah, this, of old, but the aim I always be. hear this saying yeah. Abramovich is Chelsea. Say, like the guy that called out Lewis on, 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 on CFC, he's the first thing he said is, Lewis needs to realise this saying Abramovich is Chelsea. Bro, this is Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea but the is, point is, is Chelsea, like. it's yes, not he, Arsenal. Oh, but what are you going to say to me? This ain't, it's this ain't, not, this, this ain't hybrid Arsenal. Yeah, Bro, yeah. this is Arsenal, blood. It's Arsenal, I don't care about it. Ivory. I don't care about Woolwich. I don't care about Emirates. It's fucking yeah, Arsenal. Bro. Arsenal. Yeah? And Top fucking club, mate. Yeah? yeah? Standards. And the aim should... And the, that's the thing is, the aim should always be there. Someone said it to me yesterday. Oh, United are not the levels of Real Madrid and City and Liverpool. No, we're not. Man, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, should we not aim to be there? Mm -hmm. When did you stop aiming to be at the top of the league? This when did it. that become a thing as a fan? Exactly. So when Gooney says, that's why I cut you off. Sorry, Gooney. It resonated when you said that. You won't be happy till you're competing and winning major trophies. That's how it should be as a Chelsea fan. Same that's for Liverpool. Now, same for Arsenal. Yeah, like, yeah, same for Manchester now. United. Man, I'm not. Why, why would I moan? I'm happy. We're in the quarter yeah. of the league. We're top of the league. Ten games to go. I'm Stars where I'm are be. aligning. Yeah, man. All that now stuff. Now it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm gonna, I told you I will ban that phrase, blood. Yo, <laughs> you said it. You said it. You drew me yeah, out. You said it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. I drew you out. Why am I snitching as well? I said, don't tell Flawless. Why am I you, snitching? If I'm you, 
You yeah, you you drew me out. I drew you out on the live stream that you did by yourself for the quarterfinal draw of the Champions League. They blame me for everything. Blood, you, blood you're in my life, blood. Pause, yeah? <laughs> you, no fuck about, blood, yeah? No fuck about, blood, yeah? You the dickhead. Are you dumb? <laughs> Fucking idiot. I've, I've got... got me, you know. Sorry, go on, Goody. I've got, to give, I've got to give two shout-outs shout outs as well. My guy Cursor in, in the building, he's, he's been on this thing from, from day one. And the second one... And this guy is very divisive in the Chelsea community, but I don't care. I respect the realness of this guy. Absolutely. I respect on, the realness of this guy. Let's have it, Roy. I respect, him. I respect the realness it, of this guy. He called it when it wasn't popular. He was the first one to go through the door and he received all the abuse. But Johnny was right about a lot of things. I don't necessarily... Listen, you can never... Nobody, nobody agrees with everything that everybody says. Do you know what I mean? Like, there is going to be some things you disagree with. But the overarching message of what Johnny Minerals has been saying is correct. 100% is correct. And the thing is, is although we are where we are, there is still time to turn this around and change it. There is still time. Like I said, abandon this philosophy of under 23s, under 25 players, signing players that don't have a CV whatsoever. Enzo did not have a CV before he came to Chelsea. Fair enough, he won the World Cup. But at club level, he was at Benfica for five months. Before then, he was at River Plate. He needed yeah. more time to prove himself. World, well, World Cup tax, £105 million. Pound. That's what we paid for. No, that's fair. Nicholas that's Jackson, before he came to Chelsea, it's not. I caught this guy all the time, but it's not even his fault. Before he came to Chelsea, he was at Villarreal for how long? And he was a winger. Mikhailo Mudrik, before he came to Chelsea, he was at um, Shakhtar for how long? Donetsk. Yeah, and his highlight, and, and, his, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the <laughs> highlight of this guy's performances was 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 against Real Madrid, and that was it, and that's enough to pay what eighty eight million dollars or pounds or whatever we're pay, we're paying for. Disasi, we signed this guy from Monaco. He was part of the partnership that almost relegated them. Damn, raw was he? Yeah, he was. Him and Badia Shile, they them man almost relegated Monaco. You sign, you 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 go you go out there and you sign Robert Sanchez from Brighton, who was relegated down to third third choice goalkeeper or second choice goalkeeper at Brighton. But yeah, he's good enough to be number one at Chelsea for a short period of time. Hey Goonie, I think he Chelsea, gets, I think Chelsea need you on the recruitment team. And then he gets this, <laughs> and then what? This is what makes it worse. And then he gets injured. Then he gets displaced by an MLS goalkeeper. Is this what I'm saying to you? I wish this was banter. But Chelsea fans, this that sounds crazy. This is what I'm saying. But Chelsea fans, when you say it out loud, it is as crazy as it sounds. Because see, when Lewis pulls up here, he just cusses his potch. It's just potch, 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 mm. potch, 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 potch. You're actually like taking bad places where Paul's. We're like, what? Raw, swear down. Whoa. No, because you have to break you it down. Just potch, potch, potch. Every day, potch out stream, potch out stream. Every day, blood. He didn't cuss. He, cursed, he cursed out Sterling today and a few other offers. Yeah, he I see him finished. cussing out. St he's done with Sterling, bro. As yeah, for Ra it. as for Raheem Sterling, as piss poor as this guy has been, right? Let's have a look at the situation for what it is. He's paid three hundred and twenty k a year. I mean, a, a week. Sorry, he's back in his hometown. Yeah, because he's a northwest boy. Chelsea are southwest club. It's not far from him. He's 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 close to home. He's local. He's coming towards the, the, the final years of his career. He knows nobody else is going to pay him the money that he's, he's, he's getting right now. He's looking around the squad and where we are at the table. This guy is not asked. He's this not is, bothered. You know when you sign that last contract where you're like, yeah, this is the bag. Is this that one for Sterling, you think? Of course it is. Who's going to offer him anything close to that unless the Saudis decide Bro, to come and pay money? Question. Who's paying him this much money? Come on, man. Of course, no, saying, no, 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 listen. No, no. I'm, I'm not saying who's paying that type of money. I'm saying, you know, when players, their last contracts, like, they look for the big last contract to, like, kind of set them for when they finish. I'm saying, do you think I think this is, is his that biggest for Sterling? Contract. Yeah, do you think that's the one? Do you think yeah, he looked at it and said, definitely. okay, cool, this is the one that I'm going to, I don't really care what I want. I'm just going to go there and what, whatever happened, happened. I'm back in London. Yeah, man, Medea. This is what I'm trying to say. So the, situ so the situation where we are, on top of the eight-year contracts, the 10-year contracts and stuff, we are in trouble. We are in serious trouble with this squad. If we continue to go this direction, we are in trouble. But Chelsea fans, we're at a point. Some are going to say, you're being extreme, you're doing too much. For me, it's gotten to a point where we should be protesting and standing outside Sanford Bridge with picket signs at this point. 
this is where we should be. If you want your club back, at bare minimum, we should be saying this philosophy needs to change. It needs to change. Yes. 100%. Because like Hussam said, and like everybody else knows, or majority of people know, Poch can go. You can bring in an elite manager into this club. Some say bring back Thomas Tuchel. Some say bring back Jose. I'll tell you this. If you brought Pep Guardiola into this Chelsea club, he will struggle to get top four. 100%. With the current squad and how it is, he would struggle to get top four. So it's not just the manager that needs to be changed. It's the, it's, it's the philosophy. It's the recruiters as well. They need to go. We are signing for mid-table clubs in terms of recruitment. These guys have never had any experience in terms of contributing to a team that has won anything in football. How is that going to change when they come to Chelsea? We see how they go out there and they deal with deals. Constantly, the owners have to keep coming in to get the deals over the line. What are they hired for? The Caicedo deal. How long did that take to get over the line? Mm. And we ended up... And, and you know what? We could have got it wrapped up before Liverpool came in and made that 105 million bid. But the owners had to come in and step in and save us from embarrassment and say, nah, you know what? We've been wanting this player. It's public we want this player. We're going to have to overpay for him now because you, Paul Winstanley and Lawrence Stewart, you couldn't get the job done. These guys need to go. And I'm sorry, Chelsea fans, today was meant to be our day. We're going to the semi-final. But there is an overarching message that needs to be said. And I'm going to be talking like this on every single platform until that change is made. You lot know me from day one, even from when I was on this podcast. I always spoke it how it was. If I felt something, I felt something. And just because a cup win is, is a great thing to celebrate, I'm always going to be looking to the future as well, long term. We need to be back to where we were, and that's competing. We've even got Arsenal that are about to win the league. Troops, you're my guy, but do you know how sick that makes me to my stomach? <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Guni, don't worry about it. They won't do it, man. But I hear you. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. Let me let me let me um, stop. Let me stop. You know, Bruni, uh, just quickly the Caicedo thing. If you think about it, he was worth 115 million for Liverpool because they looked at him as the last piece to like being a league champion. But I don't think he at, at stage one of the Chelsea rebuild, I don't think Chelsea should have paid that much for him. For us, it makes sense because you know it's like okay, if we sign Caicedo, in our opinion, we win the league. You know, it's like it's like Arsenal That's with fair. Rice, it's like the last piece. It's like we United, pay a I'm because I think you. we're gonna win basically. But with Chelsea, because it's step one, okay, I don't think you should have, you should have <laughs> made that much money. That's facts, though. Yeah, that's facts. We signed him and won the league the next season. Yeah, whatever, man. Anyway, guys, <laughs> this is uh, IQ. I've got to go now. I hey, what's up? Big up every time, man. I'm going to get cooked. I appreciate you guys. Big up Goonie every time. Big up Flawless Troops, you know. Um, so, yeah, we're about to get cooked now by Hamza. He's going to tell me about how in 1971... Well, something happened and shit like that. And yeah, but love you guys. Like the video, subscribe. In a bit, blood. Bless up this time, every single Bless time. Big up Akil. He says, Gutierrez, the Girona left back, love from India. That's who I was okay. talking to you. Okay, yeah, because a few people have mentioned plays from him. I've never, mm -hmm. I've not watched him, people, so I can't even say, like, mm. whether I want my club to sign him or not. Big up L. Big up Els. He says, big up Flawless Hussam. Yeah, Hold that. There you go. See, that man's getting corny and he's not even here, blood. Yeah. Big up Andy Q. I was wondering where this wallad was. He says, big up... Uh, Go Let me start that again. Goonie back. Love his rant saying Reese James live on a stretcher, but he is lives, a bum. I think he's saying that. He's oh, saying lives, lives on a stretcher, but he is a bum yeah. like Lewis. Barca better than Chelsea. Hussam in a spliff. Troops, you're next. When I fist up your, when I fish you up in the Champions League final, bro, let me tell you something. If we get to the final, revenge will be sought after. He's a Barcelona fan, flawless. Just okay, yeah. I was just thinking, who's he talking? He's the yeah, target. Yeah, yeah. All right, first. So if, first. If we buck, bro, revenge will be served, blood. Trust me. But I'm just taking it one one game at a time. Yeah, man. One game at a time. Smart man. Yeah. One, one star at a time. Fuck off. Big up Delano. <laughs> He says, come on, you gunners. Big up from NYC. Big fan of the channel. Actually had the privilege of meeting troops in Florida after the Arsenal-Chelsea game. A Goonie, remember him? A Goonie, remember him from the first Back Again pods. Big up the man them every one of, time. One of the OG, again, man. Self, uh, Delano, I'm glad to see that you're well, blood. You get me? Uh, hopefully I'll be back. 
in the USA um, this summer for um, the Philly game and the Cali game, hopefully, blood. I'm trying to get that sorted out. Big up Nathaniel. He says, these directors are parasites. We could have got Edwards instead, but we're, but we're stuck with Win Stanley and Stewart. This club will be fighting relegation soon. They, they, they think it's a joke. This is the thing. They, they think it's a joke. They think it can't happen. Hey, you lot were doing rota 40 points last season. You got like every are we even at, do we even have 40 points at this I think, point? I think it's 39. Yeah, it's 39. 39. Yeah, you go and this and this and this and this St. Patrick's Day, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mad 39 points on St. Patrick's Day, and then and then I'm being called uh, I'm, I'm negative and I'm overreactive. Mm -mm. Yeah, 39 points, joking. Big mm -hmm. up Luke Skywalker. He says Obama wa, Obama who, Obama blood clot, yang. Mm -hmm. It's actually Obama who, Obama wa. But big up your damn self every time, blood. You understand? Love <laughs> big up Gabrielle. He says, big up you guys and welcome back, Goonie, my brother. Come on, man. I'm happy that you lot are happy, blood. Goonie back again, bro. Big up CG. He says, Hussam called it flawless. Congrats. Klopp at yeah. fault. Yeah, yeah. Klopp was definitely. And yeah. Big up Declan. He says, now that we got Bayern troops and Robbie have to go all the way to relive some good old memories. Nostalgia settings, ha 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 ha. Laugh my ass off. Big up. We'll never uh, forget big up that. Your damn self, blood. I know oh. that, that I've. Um, I'm actually gonna do. I've never. Oh. This is something that I'll tell you lot. But oh. I think Goonie knows. I don't think if you know flawless. Oh. But this is something that I've never said on camera. Oh. I've never watched back my Bayern Munich interviews. From I did it, I've never watched it back. Ah, crazy. You know what you need to do? So all do I've that. seen is just clips. That I'm gonna do you know a reaction. What? I was just going to say that. That I'm needs to be reaction. content. You need to do a reaction video. Really I never, still remember that, yo. I, just, I know what I said, but... Yeah, I remember. I don't really like, The fucking lot of them. I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking lot of them. I probably watched my ticket. Back, bro. Like, I watched it back, yeah? Like, when it came out, I watched it, but I watched it yeah. since then. Yeah, it was so you're talking it, like yeah. 26, 2017 was the last time it's I watched it. crazy. So, like, I'm going to react to it. Are you going to go back over for the game? You trying to get over? I'm trying still, so I've tapped yeah, into yeah. like like my way people. I've said, that yeah, 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 yeah. Like this you is should. this is personal for me, bro. Of this course, man. We live them me, demons, man. I need to. I'm ready to face my demons, but I can't lie. I'm I'm shitting it. I'm ready. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. ready, man. I'm shook, bro. I can't. Harry lie. Kane got Harry Kane got an ankle injury. I, I heard. Don't know how long he's out to me. They were saying that someone else is injured as well. Earlier in my watching, they were saying that Kane and I think it's Sane. But Sane ain't really been playing that well. The one he you need to be careful well. of. Musiala. The one you need to be careful of is my boy, Musiala. Bring yeah, him Jamal's, back home. Jamal's moving mad. We need to bring him home, man. Cobham he's boy as well. Him. We need to yeah, bring him back you, home. You lot actually done your thing that with that generation. I can't lie. Big up Ziggy. He says, we were declining under Roman. We lost six Wembley finals in a row. How man are under new owners? Only thing the owners have done wrong are managers. I bet the panel would take a bunch of our players. Um, yeah, all right, I would, yeah, I, I would, I, but that's because I don't. Rate, I'm like, no, 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 hold on, no, hold on. I was gonna yeah. say, Goody, how you talk about your squad no, is how I talk I think, about mine because my Flores squad's not take, good either. Yeah, Flores would take more players than me, yes, exactly. This Way is more. the next thing I was gonna say. Now, I'm not, I'll tell you straight, I'm not taking your goalkeepers. I'm not 100%. taking, I, I agree. I take Reese James, that's one out of the defense. Uh, that's I it, take out both. The defense. I take both fullbacks, I take Reese James and Gusto. No, nah, I got Tim. I got Timber. That's why I, I take I take Reese James. That's it. Out of the midfield, I'm taking Caicedo. I'm taking Enzo. And then I know that's two. Good is I I'm taking. I, yeah, I think. I, I think. I, and, and then I'm taking Palmer. Well. Yeah, Palmer. That's it. And yeah. I'll take Sterling because he's Jamaican. So come pull up. Yeah, now, yeah, now yeah. let's ask this question. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> now watch this to prove my point. How many of these players get into your Real Madrid, your Manchester Cities, your teams that compete on? Every season, we every season now on all fronts. Pause on all fronts. How many? How many of those players are getting into that team? Into those teams? argue, Reese James fully. Reece James right, probably, probably the only one. Yeah, yeah that's Cole the only one. I say those not and Gusto's not. not. So do you None see? So do you see my point as yeah. to why I am disappointed with this squad build? I get that. Yeah, I fully I don't get, get mistaken. I fully get that. I always just say that I think why we was talking about players not doing. Players not being excused of performing badly because it's bad around him. I still think, even though Chelsea are short of where Chelsea fans want them to be, the manager should still be performing better. There's, you lot shouldn't be in 11th, 12th. You shouldn't be at 39 points on St. Paddy's Day. Pot should be performing to a better level. That's right. my only criticism of him. 
Big up Ben Highsmith. He says, hashtag keep Goonie on. Come on, you gunners. Get troops to 300k and Goonie to 20k. Congrats on 10k flawless. Love. Back again. A rocket ship. Come on, my That's brother. Appreciate ben it. Highsmith. Thank you, Ben. Going ham today, blood. Big up your Thank damn you. self, broski. You understand? Real shit. Other FA Cup games, um, Man City 2, Newcastle 0. Um, did you see who Sam's watch along? He was I going, <laughs> bro, he what? was going nuts. What in the City he Newcastle? He was going he was, nuts, blood. Let me see if I can. What for the City Newcastle can, game? Bro, let me see if I can find the clip. No, I didn't know that. I knew he was let going mad today. I could, but I didn't know he was going City nuts. Newcastle. Why? Because he wanted Newcastle to go through. Is that what it was? Yeah, he was like, oh, look at this Pep guy. Oh, here yeah, it is. His hatred no, for minute. City runs deep. He runs deep. His hatred for City. Where is it? Who Especially it. And hey, you lot. I don't know how many likes we're on, but it's not enough. Run up the likes, people. Run up the who goddamn posted? likes, man. Let us know in the chat, please. We'll run I don't up. know who, uh, who posted it, Blunt. Let me see if I can. Yeah, yeah, no stress. It's all good. And hit the subscribe button as well, people. But I didn't know he was going mad. But like I said, because... Manchester Bro, he was City, cussing. He yeah, was like, oh my God, look at Pep, you're a fraud. Oh, look at you like you are shocked to score against Newcastle, you fraud. You yeah. bold fraud. He was the fakest manager I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Did you see it? <laughs> Bro, he was cussing. Oh, I, I saw the clip on Twitter, but I can't find it, blood. I was going to drop it, bro. Oh, my days. He was going nuts, blood. He Because I thought, I thought no context TV posted it, but they ain't posted it, blood. I thought they posted it, but they ain't posted yeah. it. But, Shout um, out to him. Head gone. Yeah, but um, Man City getting through to um, another um, semi-final. Yeah, like six in a row. Yeah, blood. The big shock, Wolves 2, Coventry 3. Now, yeah. going into stoppage time, Wolves were leading 2-1. Boy, Coventry had other ideas, blood. 3-2 by the end of stoppage time. Absolute scenes. Coventry getting to the um, semi-final. First time they've gone this far since winning it back in 87. I think that was Jeez. the stat that I saw earlier. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. But I believe that's the stat I saw earlier. They think they won it in 87. Um, there were Premier League games this weekend as well. Let me get the results for those Premier League games. Obviously, the FA Cup, one minute. Um, obviously, United have drawn Coventry. And Let's go. Man City will play Chelsea. Um Looking like a Manchester derby. Um, let's see if it will be gone in 60 seconds yet again, like it was last year. You hey, get hey, 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 Chelsea, you must. Manchester United, do what needs to be done. This guy's, this guy's praying for the dark blue blood. You don't want to see that sky blue, fam. You understand? Yeah, same way you didn't want to see. Same way you, you didn't want to in the sky. Same way you didn't want to see that Real Madrid white. You know what I'm saying? In the Champions League semi final draw. Yeah, that's that. That's football heritage, blood. CEA yeah, football heritage. It's, no, no, it's just bad in us. Yeah, yeah they do heritage. That's better. That's, right, that's the problem. <laughs> that's true. The league games that we did have this weekend were as follows: uh, Burnley two, Brentford one. Your boy Fafana getting another goal um, after that wonder strike last weekend. Um, Larson getting you a penalty his, early on. Missed, though. That's miss of the season from Fafana. He missed the open missed goal still, like So it was one of those who was across the box low. Mm. He's in the six yard box, goal mm. gaping, and he put it wide. Jesus. I don't know how you put it wide. Like, if there's what, been like a the Harlem, what, what, like the Harlem miss, it's worse than the Harlem miss because it was on Ross. the ground. It was oh, worse shit. than the Harlem miss because it was on the deck. I've not, if there's a worse miss this season, I've not seen it. I couldn't believe it. And then obviously, he scored the goal. I was like, damn. But that's an Burnley needed thing. that. Yeah, yeah. Burnley needed did. that victory though because that. Uh, oh, he did. He scored the second goal, though, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he got the second. Yeah. Bad boy finished he, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm known from well. Chelsea as well. Yeah, your boy. Because now they've got 17 points. Um, they're only five away from Luton now. Obviously, the gap was kind of increasing. Brentford are fully in that now in the relegation. Bro, battle. Brentford have been dragged into it now. Brentford currently sit in 15th place and they got 26 points, bro. They're only mm -hmm. four points ahead of Luton, who are yep. 18th blood. They are in that relegation no. battle. So, the relegation battle right now, obviously, Palace have got 29, so there's a gap, but then from Palace to Bournemouth, there's another gap. They got um, Palace, Palace got 30, no, sorry, Bournemouth got 30. 35, Palace got 29, and then the battle is Brentford 26, Everton 25, Forest 25, Luton 22, Burnley 17. But and then there's a little drop <clears throat> to Sheffield United. They've got 14 points. 
But Brentford, you see Tony chatting again, though. What did what did he say? I didn't actually see the full clip. What did he say again? He said something like, "If if if Brentford get the money for me, then everyone's laughing." He's just basically putting himself in the shop window. He's moving really? mad. Yeah, it's crazy. He's moving mad. I can't. Like you, that. you can just relax and get your move. Professionalism you has left the building. He's, he's disrespected that club too many times. Yeah, so. the media train. They have to sell him. The media train is left. Yeah, the doing it, if he doing goes to a big team. club, he cannot be behaving like that. You do, yeah, but he won't. He's that same he's way. He's crazier than Odin Wingy when he pulled up on Red. Yeah. You doing the Harry Kane thing, man? Remember? Yeah, yeah I remember. Deadline day when he pulled up on Odin. Deadline day. Drove. Yeah, he drove. I remember. Yeah, Tony He's was talking mad. about this yesterday. Tony doing the Harry Kane. Remember when Harry yeah. Kane was on the with Gary Neville walking around mm -hmm. golf courses, talking about mm -hmm. going to Manchester City and playing with De Bruyne and not mm -hmm. turning up for training. But yeah, we ain't gonna hear about that, you know. I lie. They ain't gonna tell you about that. Yeah, go remember that. Um, big relegation battle ended one one. Uh, Luton won. Forest won. Forest took the lead through Chris Wood and then Berry equalized for yeah, it was <clears> late, uh, Luton late on. Um, the big big one. Was Fulham three, Tottenham nil, uh, Munez getting two, and Lukic getting one. Um, Tottenham, they're just a joke, blood. Like, how can you win four nil and then lose three nil? Like, one minute you're chasing top four, next minute your top four hopes are in the in yeah, the back, blood. Like, 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 that's just in the balance. That's just them. The way Ange plays as well, and with their quality, and then what is it this high line thing? That's what it is. Yeah, but he gonna live and die by that high line. Yes. And they go, they go and get these type of results. They can. It's not a surprise that they'll go away to Villa and win four 0 and then lose three 0 at home to Fulham. Like that's just the way Ange plays. I got a it isn't legit yeah? all or nothing. Go and hit me. Spurs failed to score and were beaten by three plus goals in the Premier League for the first time since October 2021, when they lost three 0 against Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's Man United. Crazy. Mm -hmm. That's a crazy. Start. And I think that's the first time they failed to score under Ange in the Premier League. Yeah, because they scored in every game. Yeah, it's good. And that's the type of thing he's like, all right, we either we either winning three 0 or losing three 0 There's no yeah. shut up shot. Yeah. Which and they lost three 0 blood. You get me? Yeah, you absolute but finish, pricks, blood. But they'll finish top four though. Yeah, you get me. I'm happy your side bitch got a slap up blood. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the main thing won. So it's all well and good. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's all and well then, and good. We're gonna win more than God. you this season. And then whatever, man. <laughs> with your flipping. We, we get out of here, man. And then in the um Final game, West Ham won, Villa won, Antonio giving West Ham the lead, and then Zani, I think it's Zanilo. Zainolo, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Zainolo um, equalising for uh, Villa in the 80th minute. The race for top four is um, heating up, blood. There are three points between Tottenham and Villa, and uh, Tottenham have a game in hand, blood. You get me? So. See? They can't. That's what I'm saying. Villa dropping points today. Like, Villa are so dumb. Like, you saw Tottenham get smack up 3 0. You know, go get the win, blood. Keep a clean sheet, and then we got a chance to you win. Know what why? happens? They could see it after 20 minutes. They're not too dissimilar in regards to obviously, they're not the same with how the managers set them up, but they're both very much like all or nothing. No pun mm -hmm. intended. We mm -hmm. either going to win 3 0 or lose 3 0. And Emery is. I remember Emery. He played a high line as well. Yeah, yeah he'll yeah, play yeah. a high line. I, Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> he'll play the high line. Yeah, and, and the way they play out from the back is a mad thing. Yeah. They, they take really, risks, blood. Like, I remember... Principles. Yeah, like, when I watch when I watch Villa, it's like watching Arsenal under Emery. Mm. My, like, PTSD, mm. the heart palpitations. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, this guy really tried to do this with Socrates. Socrates was good, but he couldn't, like, play. Like, he wasn't a ball-playing centre-back. He was a proper yeah, defender. Yeah. But he tried to do this with Socrates, Kalazanak, Mustafi... Bellerin, all these idiots, blood. Fucking check. <laughs> I said, nah, blood. This guy, bro. You understand? Like, vampire, bro. Absolutely lost the plot, blood. You understand? Um, we still got 1500 over in the chat, blood. Big up your damn selves. We're on 952 <laughs> likes. Let's, before we end the stream, let's get this to 1000, blood. You understand? Yeah. But that is it for the people, then, blood. You understand? To Episode two, that episode two seven four wrapped up like a zubi. Big up the man, them every time, blood. You understand? Big up Lewis as well. You get me? Big, big up, up Cooney. Up, you understand? Yeah, Good Cooney. to see you back on the pod, blood. We need to get you on the channel yeah, more man. often. I've seen that you're back on YouTube, so man's gonna tap in and everything there. You get me? But make sure you subscribe to Man Knows Football. The link is in the description as always, blood. You get me? Flawless. You know the vibe, fam. You understand? Up, I'll see every you in time, a couple man. days, blood. You get me? Big up the chat okay. every time. Big up the super chatters, blood. You lot are unreal, bro. You get me. Um, absolutely unreal. You keep you keep the team going, blood. 
You know me. I'm not gonna let me miss Mr. Mr. Brand Risk. You get me? So you lot, pick up your damn bl- <laughs> yeah, real talk, blood. So you lot, I mean, apparently I'm a brand risk. I look at these other content creators, they're doing the same thing as me, but apparently I'm the brand risk, blood. You get yeah, me? Yeah, brand risk so, is crazy. You get me? So big up the super chatters every damn time. You understand? Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Big up the mods, them until the next ep, blood. I hopefully I've shouted out everyone that I need to shout out and stay here. Don't go anywhere. This is redirected to who's some blood. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna pull up there and see Hamza yeah. terrorize his clock, blood. Max, and we need, you lot, we need you lot in Hassam's chat. Um, happy clappers in. That's what you learn. Yeah, happy clappers in. in. Yeah, happy yeah, clappers so in. Happy clappers in, and then put the clap emoji. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, me. I'll, I'm gonna pull up as well and let them know that, yeah, man, troops raid, blood. You understand? You know, say we don't raid like Babylon, though. You get me? Fuck Babylon. But you don't know already. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until the next ep, blood. Man's out, G. Southgate out.